there was just no like yeah that was just straight in wasn't it yeah. yeah we were chatting casually and it was like all right we're ready go Silent. go yeah. just 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 hit the sound wait can hit i do sound. it can i do it yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the Which red one? one red one there you go that's sick <laughs> Hello, Motors Podcast, uh, all that. We're so bad at the formal intro. This is the Motors Podcast. We talk about parkour and other stuff. There you go, done. Giles, Rachel, Sen, special guest. Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice, yeah. cool, Yeah, right. done, all the formalities done. Now yeah, what are we talking about? Well, we don't have Keelan here. We ended up with me instead, sorry. Yeah, um, still rocking two cameras as well. Yeah, but yeah. He's still in America. But we traded him for Sen. Hey. <laughs> and last week we had a podcast where you were starting to go down a bit of a hole talking derogatory stuff about Americans. Yeah, yeah I listened to that podcast yesterday. And now what we've done is we've just gone, it's what Rachel doesn't realize is we brought you in secretly and, and the whole angle here is just to- <laughs> Slander. Yeah, yeah. Slander towards me. Uh, it's okay though, cause I'm not <laughs> all American. Could you move this slightly closer to your face? Ooh. That good? Yeah. You you do it because I don't know how to. Are do you it. number Are you number two? Just speak, 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 speak. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, I'm just gonna turn you off a bit. This should be okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. My number one. Hello, I'm not gonna hello, scream hello, hello, into hello, the mic. That's so okay. Technical difficulties. No, Rachel's number one. I'm number three. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we should have done this before, but we were just chatting, chatting stuff. <sighs> Americans. Sorry. <Americans. laughs> no. Um, yeah. Where are we going? Who Who are you? Why are you here? I'm here because uh, my dad wanted to give me a graduation gift for graduating high school. So, that's cool yeah I mean, what, and he was like go on the merch podcast that's your gift no he said let's go to england and i was like sure let's go to england might as well see rachel while i'm here wanted to see elise but she's in greece which is oh. i'm not gonna lie f her i got that so wrong for some reason i thought like your dad was here on a business trip no nope, i'm just here i didn't know he's I'm, just i'm an idiot i don't listen to when people talk to me apparently. i don't think i ever told you so i think it's okay i don't know why i just thought that was the reason yeah, um, and then I'm going to Iceland, so. Nice, so wait, you did <laughs> Japan. Cool. I did Japan for two and a half weeks, came home to New York for like four or five days, then right off to here. Amazing. Yeah, so brain's a little fried, but yeah, okay, just cause jet lag. Yeah, I, that, that fries me. Um, yeah. So let's just give, give me some context cause I don't know a huge amount about where you're actually from, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Boston uh, or New York? No, New York. New well, York. I was born okay. in Japan. Yeah. I was there till I was three, then moved to New York um, when my sister was born live there, I've been living there, you know, since I was three, <laughs> um, like an hour outside the city, um, nor like Northern Westchester County. And then I'm going to school in Boston ah, or like okay. university. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So I'll be there for the next four years, starting in September. What, oh, univer sick. what university? Emerson College. It's right by um, that one spot that people go to, what's it called, the elementary school. It's like, super like tall walls and like oh you know where um during hubba bowl team fat was trying to do like oh, the yeah, speed no, I saw step, the, yeah. like the like do the three balls. i saw i saw those clips yeah that's like a block away from my school sick. Sick. so, so you i have a good training spot yeah, yeah. Training yeah. Then. yeah hopefully and boston, yeah, boston just got good spots around it's a lovely place yeah no it's like a calmer safer new york city so i'm, Did, I'm have you seen the link not the link but like the similarities between like a lot of Boston architecture and, and then a London. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I arrived and we were in the city and I was like, this looks a lot like Boston. I yeah. really, really like the vibes, yeah. so. It's like they settled in Boston and went, we'll just copy it. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, know what no, we do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You mm. know, I've never been to New York, Boston, anything like that. I well, you only got, went to LA, right? I only went to LA, so. Yeah, you gotta come to the East Coast. Yeah, do you think if I came to the East Coast, I'd actually like it? I think so. <laughs> I, I, well, actually, I don't know because of what you said, like, and yeah, I, feel, I feel like if you struggled in LA, you'd struggle in New York. That's like true. central New York. Yeah, but in the last like, podcast, I did say that I, I liked specific Americans. I think you like Sen, Boston. Sen was in my mind when I said that, so. So you two have met before? No. No. We've only oh. talked on Instagram. No, so you literally met, just met just now? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I actually, I saw her coming across the bridge and I creeped up like uh, so I my phone. at the stairs. She was looking at her phone. I just kind of come around the corner filming her, her and first, she was just. First mugging. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she got absolutely <laughs> just like, Interrogated straight I mean, away. that works for this like, area. Ah. Yeah. And I was like, hi. But yeah, no, we've, how long, when, I don't know when we first came in contact. I, I have like, no idea. I feel like maybe like, tw like early 2020 ish. Yeah, maybe. Probably something. I feel like it was just like, just on Instagram and through. It was before. I don't know how, how I ended up with like 
a group chat on <laughs> we have a group chat on Snapchat with like me, you, Elise, and Levio, and I have no idea how that yeah. came about. I don't even remember. Snapchat group chats are the weirdest thing. Like they are. I really feel weird. like Snapchat is dead apart from certain features. Well, I think you say that because you're older than us. Yeah, you are old, Giles. <laughs> I agree. Are you I, considered uh, a millennial? <laughs> no, I think I'm past a millennial. I think no I'm, way, no way. Am I not? I think you're either, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I don't yeah, know why yeah. I am. Yeah, I don't think millennials yeah, are, are supposed to use Snapchat. I'm, I'm yeah, fucking no, I Giles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't use Snapchat for like any, uh, I, I only use it to talk to like two people maybe. I yeah. use it just to post to my private And story. I feel like it's because you get into the loop of like talking to a certain person on a certain app. Like if I was to text Giles, I'd text him on WhatsApp. If I was to text Bloggy, I'd message him on Instagram. Yeah, if I was see, to text Sen, I'd either Snapchat or Instagram. And I still use like Facebook Messenger, but only for like Keelan and Bloggy and like a handful of other people, but WhatsApp for everyone else. Yeah, I if I was talking to my mom, I'd talk to her on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, it's really strange. So I feel like that's the only reason I still have Snapchat is to talk, is because it, it feels natural to talk to like Elise on mm. Snapchat. The only reason I used it was for like fast, because it's the quickest app to send a photo or a video of something. Yeah, yeah. But then when I got my new phone, I can't remember my password and I've just forgotten that Snapchat exists. <laughs> nice. So. They've got that snap map thing though, so you can stalk where everyone is. I did that with Rachel. Uh, yeah. When I was on the train, I was like, where is she? Where's Rachel? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is so weird. No, but like going to a festival and then you just see, oh, and who else is at this festival? And you see that this person you went to school with four years ago is here and you're like, no, it's oh kind of funny. no. Oh. Yeah. But it was just, wait in anticipation to run into them it's just that's fine no one recognizes me from school because i look cool now keep down there yeah well that's (laughs) changing we we were just talking on instagram you got a fresh haircut recently it's very nice very cool very nice thank Uh, you um (laughs) just to go back to japan yeah where did you go was it last week yeah like last week that's mad yeah um yeah where'd you go um so i stayed in kyoto because that's where my grandma lives and that's where i was born and Uh, that's where like my mom's from and then we also took a trip to like osaka which is nearby. Yeah, so. I asked that as if I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I know that area. Have I'm, you? No, you. You. I've been only ever been to Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. But it was just amazing. Yeah. Like, very very cool. Yeah. It, the, right now the COVID restrictions are like absolutely awful, and people wear masks everywhere because it was normalized before COVID. Yeah. I mean, then they wore them anyway. Like. Yeah, and the humidity because it was like anywhere from 28 to 32 degrees Celsius plus a mask plus humidity, it's and just... people people wear them even if like they're 100 feet away and you're outside. So as an American, I was like, this is awful. I can't do this. Yeah. You just breathe in like water like yeah that. yeah oh, no, i awful. remember it being a bit of an issue for kings of concrete the japanese athletes had like uh oh really they had to get way more yeah i trained with i trained stuff with, to be able to even come yeah wow. i trained with um Ninajang, with nene it's what you guys call her yeah but um i feel yeah. like yeah is that how you pronounce her name or do we just decide that no the, no it's nene is like nene. how you yeah but people say nene Cause that's how it's just, like, but Look I trained us. with her in Osaka. Okay. Absolutely just butchering. No, it's okay though. Cause I think names. Jeffy, when he first like posted about like, because when she went in like a Tempest online thing or whatever, they called her like Naga. Cause that was like the first part of her username. Uh, but that has okay. nothing to do with her name. Naga just means long. So when her, <laughs> her username is Naga Negi Nene. And that means like long scallion Nene. Like, like long, so cool. ve- like scallion is um, Negi. Like negi is like scallion, like the vegetable. Like spring onions. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. Thank that. Uh, yeah. I feel like so you guys probably never, never, know, never knew that. Yeah, because we're stupid. <laughs> well, not stupid. I feel like it's pretty justified to not yeah. know that because we don't speak I'm awful for anything other names. than English. But it's okay. But yeah. also, I just feel so bad that her name's just been butchered for so long. She understands. It's okay. <laughs> She's like, I understand, like little <laughs> Look, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think the Americans caused it, right? I can blame it on them. Yeah, cool. just keep, yeah. keep digging that hole. Just That's keep fine. digging it. I'll keep, keep blaming them too, yeah. Yeah, nice. So, should we? Should yeah, we I mean, your your question. Get in. You've, cool. got, you've got your handwritten notes. So, so Sen, yeah. you've been you've been in the scene for a, a while, considering how y- how young you are, right? Yeah, well, yeah. How old are you so. now? I'm eighteen. Eighteen. Cool. 18, cool. Yeah. When did you start training? I want to say when I was in like third or fourth grade, so maybe 10, 11, but I only really consider myself like really getting into the sport after my parents bought a trampoline and I started, you know, bouncing on it for like four hours a day, like after school every day. So yeah, I'd say that's like two or three years after. So maybe like 13 or 14. Oh, sick. Yeah. Because you released Like a Girl. Mm -hmm. Was that back in 2018? Yeah, that was when I was in eighth grade. Wow. How, how, how... I don't know American. Yeah, I know. Have I have to had... do this like conversion. I'm like eighth grade is. How old are you? How eighth old are you in eighth grade? I would have been 
maybe like 13 or 14. Yeah, I've got, same time I've got I 14 written down obviously. here because I'm just assuming, yeah, like yeah. guessing how old you are. It's like, she's 17 in Queen City. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. about 14. But that's insane that you, did you do that? You did that for school, right? Yeah, so yeah. I did it for school because I went to an IB school. So they had like a cumulative like eighth grade final project. And they were like, you can study, research, whatever you want to do. Um, and I was just like, I want to just like figure out why there's like not a lot of women in the sport. And so I made a really crappy short documentary and it, yeah, that's like what started it all basically. That is so, no, cause I can tell, for reference, this video came out before I started training. Oh really? Genuinely, oh right, cause yeah. you said you, you started training in 2019? Yeah, I, was, I started training like in 2019. Yeah. Um, but I remember watching this documentary and thinking it was so cool. Really? How did you find it? Just YouTube? Uh, I think it was shared by like, just female yeah. parkour yeah, yeah, yeah. community. Athletes, yeah. Um, but I, I do remember seeing a bit of it when it came out because back in 2018, I didn't train, but I had friends that were into parkour and I was following uh, okay. like Sydney and, and Katie Elise, and El, like Elise Bickley yeah. as well. Yeah. So like, I think I saw them sharing it on their stories maybe. Mm -hmm. So I watched it and I remember yeah. thinking how Don't cool go it was. and watch it now. Cause it's so <laughs> bad. Go watch Queen City instead. I'm not, I, I did watch it very recently and I was like, it's oh baby god, Rich. <laughs> no, but if you go That's back so and look cringe. at if you go back like a year and look at me and it, on and any motor like, thing, I am so horrifically awkward in front of a camera that I yeah. can't even watch it. So don't feel don't feel bad. There was a really nice comment actually on the last uh last week's podcast saying that you seem much more confident now. Aww. Yeah, thanks. So, but I still think I read that. That was really know, nice. Just to make you awkward now. Yeah, now I'm just gonna crawl up into a ball and die now just, thanks. just quickly how did you find parkour um so i was watching american ninja warrior which uh, i know is kind of like looked down upon or whatever like finding the sport <laughs> to that show but um yeah i was watching it and a bunch of the contestants on it like were either parkour gym owners or like coaches and i was like sign me up for that and it's cooler that you watched that and found parkour rather than watch that and just went, I want to be a ninja warrior. Right, right, you know, right. Because right. you know, some people yeah. just go, where's the nearest ninja warrior gym? Yeah, but yeah. they're like making ninja warrior into like a thing now. Cause there's like yeah. ninja warrior gyms, gyms and grown. training centers yeah, yeah, like yeah. all over the UK. So I have a feeling people are going to be like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I'm a ninja. I'm, I'm a ninja warrior. Yeah, I'm a ninja now warrior. We, now we have like world chase tag to compare it to. True. Uh, which is like way, a little maybe, closer. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then like, Coincidentally, like in the f like in the mail, like three weeks later, I got a flyer that was like, "Do you want to be the next American Ninja Warrior? Like, take our parkour class." And then my parents signed me up for that. Took classes for like five or six years. What gym and was then, that? Like a, it's actually like a gymnastics gym, like uh, okay. thirty minutes north of my house, um, in a town called Brewster, Connecticut. Um, and so yeah, now I was a coach there. I'm not anymore, um, because I'm going to college, but. Yeah, I ended up becoming a coach at the gym that I originally started training parkour at. Sick. I, cool. You hear a lot of those stories, don't you? Like start yeah. at a gym and then work up to coach. Yeah, and it's then nice. now we got a, a new gym, Rome. I don't know if you guys have seen yeah, it. Yeah, that. That's like yeah, 15 yeah. minutes. That's like a much closer um, facility to my house, which is awesome. Yeah, I've only ever been to... Um, Brooklyn Zoo? That's one, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was thinking yeah. Zoo York and I was like, it's not <laughs> Zoo York. Yeah. <laughs> not we York. went there once, right? And uh, yeah. me and Jesse, because we've been a couple of times, and mm -hmm. I, was, I was staying with Jesse, and we, we got the, the train into the city, and we rocked up, and like we couldn't get in, and there were like really? black cars all outside, and it was like there were like security, and we we're like, what the hell's going on? Madonna's son, were, or one of Madonna's kids, was having a birthday party. Really? So they like booked it That's out. That's really funny. And then we weren't allowed in, and then they all left, and we were allowed in. We're I've like, never oh. been. I've never been to Brooklyn. It's fun. It's cool. Yeah. It's got some nice bits. I'm just smiling and nodding because I have no idea. Yeah. Big purple no, gym, didn't. upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. Got bars that hang from the ceiling, which is kind of oh, cool. Oh, that is very cool. There's like yeah. concrete. I don't know if it's real concrete. It looks like graffiti. Like uh, yeah, I think it's, like it's a wood, actually. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I was going to uh -huh. ask, do you think you'll ever go on American Ninja Warrior? Bring it full circle? Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not into not. that. No, people ask me, like my friends, like who don't do parkour, he'll be like, oh, like you can do American Ninja Warrior now. I'm like, no, I'm yeah, not doing that. that. First off, that looks boring. <laughs> Second off, I don't have the upper body strength for that. So it's a, that's a no from me. I think there's like a 15% of me would love to do it purely for the like, kind of take the piss. Oh, put, please put, do, you know what I mean? do put it. Put on a bit please of a persona. It. Like at the start, That'd be funny. do your kind of like, ah, yeah, like, do a backflip. Like, lean, lean into the hole. Cause you know, they, they always look for that angle on yeah, you. You're like, you're oh, the my, character. my granny's cat died. Like, I'm doing this. <laughs> like lean into that and just really take so the piss. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, my first parkour coach, well, normally my coach, the guy who owned my gym, 
uh, do you know you know Rural de yeah, Costa? Yeah, yeah. He went on American Ninja Warrior, did all that, like, oh, I like strong, and then <laughs> fell oh, in on like the first, oh <laughs> it was like first chase, chase obstacle, well. like, you know, the, the tic tacs, yeah. Chase Armitage did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, proper cocky, I'm Chase Armitage, did a cork and things, and then fucking just uh, fucked it. It's like. a different skill set. Yeah. It's not, yeah. Yeah, but I think my parents would really like it if I went on American Ninja Warrior. They, <laughs> they think it's like much safer, which I, I feel like there are parts of it that are safer, but. Yeah, I'd rather fall into water than. On concrete, concrete, you know, like you know what from I'd like to know height, is yeah. I reckon I reckon there's a lot of people who probably walk away with like you know pulleys and like bad kind of like tendony finger things. Yeah, grip, anything with upper body. People yeah. like wrenching their shoulders on gri and grip strength and yeah. stuff, like just really holding on. But it yeah. looks like horrible to do as well. Like just just in terms of you just in a mass arena, everyone's just yeah. glaring at you and you're just like, mm. yeah. I think also just like, it's because it's TV. Like I've heard the horror stories about how like, I remember Jesse saying in LA once they, because they wanted to shoot it at night mm -hmm. because it was cooler, but also so they could have all the light. So it looked dark. They had to shoot at like three in the morning, but then like everything got covered in dew and it was like all slippery and it's just like, it's all fake as yeah, well. It's all yeah. TV, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a reality They show. actually, they filmed the downtown LA part of American Ninja Warrior just in Universal Studios. That's, they do so <laughs> many things like that, yeah. It's yeah. all fake, it's like all it's fake. not actually outside, Question it's not actually in the street. Everything. And then all the audience is paid to be there as well. Really? Cause they have to shoot oh. it at like 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, Cause it's the only available set time. And then they're shooting it in the dark, 3 a.m. and they have to pay people to be there because otherwise no one would come. Wow, and then in England, you don't get prize money. It's the yeah, only, only, no way, really? The, uh, England is the only place you don't get prize money. Why is that? And they, do you know why? Because it's England. <laughs> you yeah. Know. You get okay, I won't pride. Do it. I won't do it to you You get then. to go on ITV and meet some third-rate celebrity and shake the hand, probably. <laughs> like, Mate, if I go on ITV and meet, wait, who's on ITV? Like, Davina <sighs> McCool, maybe? I know. I, I, I'm you know Carol course. Vorderman follows me and messages me on Instagram. That's very cool. She's so cool. Bloggy didn't know who she was. Are these British what? celebrities? She's like a British like TV personality. Oh, really? I'm turning this up, Bloggy. Bloggy, do you not like Countdown? Uh, I thought Countdown would be your. Uh, honestly, I just kind of forgot her name because I haven't watched TV in a very long time. But like when you were a kid, I can imagine you sweating in front of Countdown. No, babe. I hate that. <laughs> really? That's such a bloggy thing as well. Yeah, true, yeah. True. You know, I'm she... a literature Charles. <laughs> <laughs> we Fair we enough. know this now. Ca yeah. ca Countdown's like um. They have a big clock and you get uh, word or number challenges. They're like, the, you, you, I'll, I'll sit here and Carol Vorderman, who used to be a sort of very attractive sort of middle-aged woman. Yeah, uh, used was, to be. Well, I don't know how old she is now. You know, she, she was like the one that everyone was like, oh, Carol, black dress. And they'd go, Carol, another vowel, please. And she'd pull out a vowel or a consonant. Yeah. And, and then you'd, you'd, she'd create this jumble of words. And then the, you had to... You had, to guess. you had to get timed on how quickly you could make the longest word. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just nerds, basically. I did that. Big but nerdy show. Davina but McCall lives near yeah. here. I can, I can. Did she actually? Yeah, I can. Can we say hi? Mm. Yeah. Big besties. Show. I'll link you up. Yeah, yeah. Watch me become a British TV personality. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway. <laughs> where are we going next? We are going to the TED Talk. Yeah. Can I actually just ask one question that yeah. I thought of a second ago? Yeah. And then forgot. Go for it. You said Ivy School. IB. International uh, Baccalaureate. Wait. In, what? International Baccalaureate. Giles, you know what that is, right? <laughs> What's a is that a, like bachelor? No, it's an international. Well, bloggy, do you know what it is? Yeah. It, okay, you, you explain it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, so similar to GCSEs, right? But at the baccalaureate, you have like fundamental things you need to do. So it's like a language, a creative, and then the STEM stuff, right? So it's like science. Doesn't maths. watch Countdown, but he knows this. <laughs> I'm not it's an idiot. I Bloggy just is a read. bundle of useless <laughs> information. Did you not know? Um, <laughs> I'm sure you can probably like describe better because you did it. Um, but, it's like, yeah. I mean, it was a private school, international baccalaureate. I think it- I'm all about that private school. Yeah, yeah I don't have- <laughs> Me and Bloggy just here with trauma for being the charity kid at yeah, the private school. Yeah, charity school. kid, private school kid. No, this <laughs> you is, can... my dad's gonna listen to this and he's gonna be like, wow, you went through eight years of that and you don't know how to explain oh. what international baccalaureate is. My mom would listen to this and be like, I sent you to private school, you're swearing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's international like focused on like interdisciplinary learning like a lot of just not your regular i don't even know how to explain you should okay. look it up later. well basically you said i thought you said the word ivy no not and ivy. it made me think i'm not what, going to harvard yeah what is an ivy school an ivy league an ivy well okay so ivy league was like created i don't know like 100 200 years ago and it was just a collection of like eight schools that competed in sports and uh, now they just okay. have like 
now they're just like prestigious. Yeah, so we have it's nothing. Yeah. yeah, we have like Russell Group Uni and then Oxbridge and stuff. So I guess it's oh, kind I of. I know none of these. You don't know what Russell Group is? Mate, I didn't go to uni. Well, I mean, it doesn't really mean much actually, but. I know none I of these two. It's basically, okay. it just basically gives you bragging rights to be set, to say like, yeah, so I went to I'm a Russell Group Uni. Oh, yeah. I went to Ox, Oxbridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. In, okay. in the US, it'd be like Harvard, Cornell, Dartmouth, Columbia. Yale. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yale. I know my. American University. I walked through the campus of MIT once and thought, "This is nice." That's not an Ivy, but yeah. Is it not? No, it's not. Oh, not. but that's smart people, right? Yeah, it's still smart. See, people. I was yeah. walking. I was in UCLA when I was there, and it was really weird because all the students looked like twenty-five. Americans look older. Yeah, I'm certain of this. I look really young. People tell me that all the time. Yeah, to be fair, like, because I was there with like Hudson. Hudson's sister's only six. She was only no, fifteen Hudson's at the time. Sister looks so much older than. Me. And she was about to turn sixteen, but then like. She was hanging out with her friends, and then it was like, "Oh wait, like yeah. you guys are fifth What? I'm, I'm convinced that Americans it was, it, somehow yeah, look they, older. They seem so yeah. much older. In Japan, I look older than I am, but in the U.S., I look younger. That's strange. Yeah, Americans weird. Americans, yeah. <laughs> America. We're just digging. We're, we're losing, losing listeners. Go by for the day. it. No, keep going. Um, okay. We can move. We, yeah, we let's get move. in. TED okay. Talk. Okay. TED Talk. TED Talk. How, how does that, how did that come about? How do you end up with a TED Talk? So I went to Japanese school for eight years on the weekends um, on Saturdays. And I had a friend there who moved back to Japan and he was doing the graphic design like department or like, whatever for like TEDx Youth Tokyo. So mm -hmm. he was like, oh, you should like apply for this because it's COVID and not many people are applying and you have an interesting story to As tell. As in apply to do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So I did did like a little interview got it and then for like six months i worked on it um and then i have a ted talk tedx youth but yeah is that not terrifying to work on something for six months for like how long was it the ted talk yeah it was 10 minutes so like six months for that are you just six like six months for 10 minutes yeah, yeah and they thought they were gonna fly me out at one point but because of covid i couldn't so i would have gone to tokyo for the first time because i've never been but um that would have been wow. sick yeah and then yeah, I read off a teleprompter. I did not memorize that whole thing. Um, How was that? Like, like the, did you have to, did you have to practice? Was yeah, it? yeah, I practiced yeah. like maybe for like three or four days every night. Um, and then oh, I wow. went to- Teleprompters are hard. Like- Yeah, it, no, the speed, like it was- me, it was Imagine me and Bloggy doing that. We're both dyslexic, both can barely <laughs> read. Trying to read off a- which, <laughs> It yeah, just sounds like a nightmare. It's like shapes instead of words. <laughs> the thing is, God. what I do is I'd start saying it without understanding what I'm saying, mm -hmm. like a robot. Tell it, yeah, the problem with teleprompters is you either sound like you're reading or it starts to get too fast and you get like jumbled. You go, yeah, yeah, and it's like, like weird like pauses to catch up. Like it was, yeah, yeah, it was interesting, but I think it turned out well. Sick. Yeah, no, it was it was a really, really nice head talk. And I, Thank you. I love watching it. I loved hearing the feedback on it as well. Yeah. Though I did look at the comments and there was like, there was a There's few- There's definitely a handful of people who like disagreed hand, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. just like- <laughs> Which is but they were like civilized and respectful. They'll which always I appreciate. be. Yeah. There, was, yeah, there exactly. was one like string of comments where it's just this one guy. I can't remember exactly what he said, but it was uh, just along the lines of just like this is the most rubbish I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, like, I feel like a lot of the criticisms came from the UK community, <laughs> which is interesting. But yeah, but all the replies <laughs> was her were just like. Um, People I knew, like it was yeah, just some no, I random guy. He, I didn't didn't know who it was who made the original comment, but he'd written like a full paragraph about how like dumb this was and how yeah. like women's stupid. Anyway, I feel like some people just like to write inf yeah. inflammatory stuff. If that's the right <laughs> word, like I, I, the football was on the other night, obviously, and I didn't watch it, but I was like just checking my phone occasionally, looking at the score, and then I went on Twitter and like click I think it was like the the, the main line that's his mm -hmm. page or whatever posted like you know well done or whatever I clicked on it was going through the comments and there's just like clearly like dumb teenagers who know that you know if they wrote something nice or something proper on Twitter they yeah. probably with their five followers they wouldn't get any like right you know. yeah, but if they write women's football isn't a real sport under the thing of this they get 300 people <laughs> saying mate you're a cunt yeah and then they go I've caused a reaction yeah look and at all these notifications popping up yeah, on yeah and it's like I think people like to just cause a reaction. Right? But, there um, was like a yeah. string of replies of just people being like, go home, mate, yeah. pack it up. Yeah. I mean, no. just, just people I knew as well. Like, there was one person early on who was like, I'm actually really like interested in what you have to say. I don't know if I agree with all of it. And so I like, I FaceTimed him and we talked about oh, it. Oh, sick. And then, yeah, that was actually really, really interesting. And my parents didn't know. And so when I told them afterwards, they were a little bit shocked because they were like, oh my God, you talk, like, was it was it okay? Like, was he aggressive? I was like, no, it was, a, it was a civilized conversation. And I think we learned a lot from each other and it was, 
It was good. Such but, um, a civilized, mature way to handle things. Because it's age uh, like, like seventeen. Like yeah. why? I should, I, should, I, I, I should take a like page why out of that waste book. your time <laughs> on something that's like un, like not mature and civilized, uncivilized? Yeah, you know. True. I mean, I think that is actually a problem with the internet is that it's so quick to fire off like a comment or whatever. Yeah. But if every if if like most of the the points that people get caught up and argue on in the world mm -hmm. because of the internet has made it so easy to just like you know find somebody on the other side of the planet and go like fuck you and they're like yeah. fuck you but actually if you got face to face yeah. or facetimed most, it breaks pe that down. most people are pretty there's, there's so yeah. there's so many people like that like so many people just they feel like they just on their phone they can just you know it's yeah. like they're yeah, protected yeah. and then you know you can meet them in person and then they're like yeah yeah it's, it's hilarious as well because sometimes like I, I feel like I know who you're talking yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> no but you do pick up on the people who are just like really ballsy online you meet them in person and then you they're yeah. just yeah. terrified yeah. of yeah. everything and yeah I don't know maybe it's just like that safety net of not being in the general facility of yeah I'm I'm also just like genuinely curious as to why people disagree with like the like thing that I preach I guess you could yeah. say like I genuinely want to understand like where their mindset comes from mm. and so like I will give them the time if they want to explain to me and then if I can if they let me you know talk about it then that would be great too. Well that it is might... essentially how you yeah. learn isn't it? Yeah exactly and I think more yeah. people should do that. Do it, like Watching the TED talk in my like when I was like reading some of the comments I was genuinely baffled on how like it really felt like a lot of it just went over people's heads like the whole point yeah. of everything uh, like i was reading the comment section and it didn't seem like they'd even watched the video yeah yeah I because like too. a they, lot of people don't watch stuff mm. like, or they what you know you, you watch they if, watch it go, going into it they already have like a fixed mindset on yeah. what they believe and they're not open to like changing their perspective or being more empathetic or like more compassionate so they're like this is how i think and they watch it all the way through and they don't at like any point question what they think be is yeah. but be like yeah. they believe to be true and so they come out of it and they're like, no, this is still wrong. Well, so there's, there's crazy, I don't know the sort of statistics or anything, yeah. but like once somebody has an opinion of something that mm -hmm. is, it, it's very, very hard to yeah. essentially change that. They have to change it themselves through kind mm -hmm. of almost the desire to change it. Right. So, and that can be on any topic, whether it's, you know, it, it, like, I mean, anything, we saw it a lot in COVID times with all yeah, the yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. conspiracy, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Like once somebody goes, oh, this is what I believe, you can say, hey, look, no, here's something that counters that. And they're like, no, this yeah. is what I believe. Yeah. And it's so hard to change that. It's mm -hmm. really interesting. But um, just to sort of reverse a bit. So like you obviously made, um, what was the first video called? This Like a Girl. Like, like, a girl. girl. like you, you said that was because you kind of, you had that opportunity at school to, to make mm -hmm. a documentary and you sort of noticed this sort of lack of women. Yeah. What like did the response from that make you want to sort of pursue that that mission to sort of talk about it more or like i guess i'm sort of saying like where because I, I feel like not all the women in this sport are like crazy vocal that, they all yeah, they all kind of believe in the same thing and i think a lot of us you know most sane people in the sport but yeah, agree but yeah there's sort of some of you guys who are just a lot more like i'm gonna really try and spearhead yeah. this i don't know i don't know where it comes from um probably just like seeing how like the parkour community has improved over time mm. makes me more motivated because like since putting out like a girl and then I put out um, the future of female movement and then it was my tech do Ted talk in oh, like okay. that order. But I just like saw the, the community improve and I was like, oh, like if like, this is like actually like affecting people and it looks like, it, you know, it's like working. And so let me just continue with it until it just gets better and better. And I also think another thing that motivates me is seeing like how my friends, like how you're impacted or, you know, how other people, like other female parkour athletes are affected around the world and hearing their stories. And I'm just like, we, we just have to do something about it. Like, I feel like I'm a very passionate and like enthusiastic person. And so when I have something that I really enjoy doing and I also have something that I really believe in and I can put those two together, then I'll just continue with it. And that ended up being like film and this- That's sick. Female yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. sick. Uh, fact that you have the film side of it mm -hmm. really just elevates the yeah. opportunities mm -hmm. for you to put across the message that you want to put across, which yeah. is really, really good. Because obviously there's a lot of people that are like like spearheading, mm -hmm. I think, um, like the way that Giles explained it. But I think I feel like you're one of the only person who's really putting out the content. Right. Like, it helps so you know, much, doesn't it, when you like, have that medium. Yeah, yeah that yeah. media like content to be able yeah. to... Yeah 
convey <laughs> what you want to convey and it makes it easier like more easily consumable maybe mm, I think so um, maybe it's a bit more consumable than me complaining on my Instagram story <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem with stories is they're quick to disappear obviously yeah. yeah whereas like if you can put something into like a concise well kind of put together video it uh it has a slightly more lasting impact because mm -hmm. yeah unless you like save something as a highlight on stories which is a nice feature actually because i think people there's a few instances sort of where people you know put something as a nice story feature and then you can go back and reference it but yeah. otherwise it's just gone and there's so. also like the credibility aspect to it like i feel like if you're making just like a longer like piece of media then you can actually research for it and that's yeah, what i yeah. did for my second one mm -hmm. was like my first one didn't have any research and i was like okay this should be a little more like i don't know there should be like more validity with like what i'm saying and like i should get data on this you yeah. know um to help me prove my point so i did that i researched i read like three thesis papers from professors across the like the u.s and i found people who were talking about similar things that i was interested in talking about so like women in uh, male-dominated sports or extreme action sports how women are treated and just like the sports industry in general and so i used that data and then i also put out a poll i think i sent you i just i sent like 50 people 50 female athletes a poll and i got data from that Sick. but um just like when it comes to just like posting on your story, I feel like that like level of depth is not reachable yeah, yeah. as easily. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess as well, people see posting on a story as almost like a like as if you it's like surface as, level. It, yeah, as if you were talking in in like an argument, and then and also you just like snap back. It's quite it's and then, reactive. It's yeah, like, it's pretty reactive. Stories so normally, like, yeah. yeah, stories normally done in the past. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's normally about a topic, whereas I guess video, like especially documentary, is more like. It might be a bad topic, but it's more, yeah, as you said, like it, it comes across as if you're way more in defensive. Not no, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, if you're putting out a long form, longer form piece of mm -hmm. content based on an opinion, it feels mm -hmm. like that opinion is much, much like stronger, and it's oh like, yeah, yeah, that's what you want to yeah. have. Whereas, like, I feel like an Instagram story could be like, you know, that can be reactive. It can be yeah. reactive, but also like, there's not much reflection on your opinions mm -hmm. in that. They are too quick to just yeah fire off. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no I, I do. That's what I try to avoid. I, whenever I do post stuff about anything that I'm like passionate about, I do think about it. I'm I like do yeah. think about that aspect because I I am aware that I have like an audience and a reach. Um, but then yeah, I'm aware I'm gonna piss people off with it um, sometimes. It's yeah. also funny because my mom and my friends have mentioned because. My name Seneca comes from like the Seneca Falls Convention, which was like a women's rights like uh, convention, really? women's rights movement. So it's it's so just like cool. funny that like I'm doing what I'm doing, and my name also has ties back to like. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. That that era. That, is, no, that, yeah. that it's very convenient. <laughs> Rachel's like shit. I'm called Rachel. <laughs> <sighs> my name means sheep. Jesus. Does it really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got a sheep tattoo on my arm. Yeah. But a sheep. It'd be pretty cool if I was like, yeah, my name means. Feminism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm boring. Sorry. Uh, was the second project for school as well? No, that was just for fun. Cause so you I, just went in on like the the, the, the yeah, because I was things. like, there's so much more that I could say better, and I was just craving to make something again. So I was like, I'll do this, and then I put it out during um, uh, COVID. Yeah, Sick. April. So that's like a little bug you get when you make your first one, like you make your first piece of long yeah, form, and then you're like, I want to make. I, I, I need. I need a reason. I need yeah, a reason yeah. to be like yeah. to live. Did you yeah. study film, video, or anything? No, no it's, it's just, I'm just all like I guess like self-taught is a word, but yeah, like my yeah. dad has always been really interested in you know like filming and videography. Like he's literally like had a camera since the day I was born and he's like filmed so much of my life and That's he has sick. his whole collection of videos like online um just of like me and my sister so yeah just like stuff like that he has like the first like movie that my sister and I officially made together oh, amazing. and so like yeah I wrote that about I wrote you know about that experience in my college essay and that's not exactly like the pinpoint like oh I know I knew I wanted to make films and I made this movie when I was fucking eight years old but yeah, like yeah. I definitely talked about it and how my dad has always been um, pretty creative and yeah stuff that's like that. really cool do you think your dad inspired you to start making that sort of content yeah a little bit that's um cool. i think just yeah my my family my friends my parkour friends did you ever make like stupid like video stars yeah yeah <laughs> not video stars but iMovies yeah uh, I was all about the video stars yeah. wait what's video stars <laughs> it's like an app where you can make yeah. like fake music videos yeah. it's like just yeah. effects and I feel effects. like it was Amazing. very much yeah. our like specific generation because I'm only like a year yeah. or two older yeah. like yeah. than you but um yeah, it was Jazz like is old. around 
<laughs> said every around podcast, 20 you don't need to. i'm gonna say 2012 2013 yeah it was like video stars this app that just popped off yeah. and it was just you make these like fake like uh like music, music videos. videos with all like the really cringy filters and stuff and like it, it was like the like TikTok before TikTok. It, yeah, it really, really was because they had that. But song it wasn't. Was like, it wasn't like where you could post it. It was just like have, for yourself. Did you ever use the like? Do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. No, I. <laughs> do you like French no toast? Yeah, I like French toast. But what me and my me and my friend about? from primary school would always make them and then just uh, have us like. It was like we try and do like. <laughs> teleporting and stuff so you film it and then you stand here and sing one part and then i'd sit in the playground like playground the, the playhouse at the like top playground yep and then yeah and then they had the tourist tragic effects but then we re like, really felt like absolute directors i was yeah, like yeah, yeah this um yeah kaleidoscope effect is really gonna portray <laughs> how i'm feeling like the in the RBG, moment like the red blue and green like <laughs> yes yeah that, i feel like that kick-started my yeah. career into I was, making I was content stuck with like vhs cameras and stop motion lego films oh i did that too yeah. i did stop motion legos i feel like that mm, is just a classic yeah, no, it's a classic. Yeah. yeah i remember filming it's the gateway the gateway movie making yeah yeah <laughs> i played i played pikachu in my sister's year seven oscars oscars school oscars uh film submission and i i i'm five my sister's five years older um, so if she was, if she, yeah, if she, if she was 11 I thought you were about to say like in your school play. I, I, I would have been about seven, but she got me to dress up no, as that's Pikachu. Fucking, that's fucking and then like hilarious. run around with my brothers if we're on a, like a like adventure. A, wow. In, which is in the garden. Um, I really yeah. hope that never resurfaces. Yeah. I I've wanna got, see it. I've got some stuff. I think my sister has like, all the old films that used to be on like our old home computer when that got thrown away. I think she's got them all on a hard drive, like early parkour videos and also just ridiculous shit that I used to film with my friends. Yeah, but that's like, so fun. Like I want to keep doing that like now. Like yeah. I just yeah. want to make shitty, like funny movies for my friends. I'm just glad I, I was too old for the like, m like full on musically TikTok era. Mm, yeah. Like I'm on, I love TikTok and I was, I was on musically, but I was, just too old for like you know what's really what, funny the musically kid era the you know proper dancing like you know what's really yeah. funny though when i first downloaded musically like the first like parkour person i followed on musically was um josh malone and i told him when i was in boston and it was like i think it was like join or die and i was like i was i was just meeting him like in person for the first time i was like you know like the first ever like social media platform i ever followed you on was musically and all of his friends like turned their heads and they were like what there was, that was did he it. used to do the dancing thing no it wasn't dancing he just uploaded parkour videos oh, okay. on musically but it was yeah that would have been amazing because that was like the only yeah. social that was like before i had instagram so that was the only way i kind of saw parkour was <laughs> through musically through music. wow. yeah and M youtube musically was such an app did, yeah. it turn, it just, did it turn into TikTok? It yeah. turned into TikTok, yeah, okay. yeah. But it started out with just like people lip syncing and yeah, just no, yeah. no, nothing else. Yeah. Um, whereas I feel like TikTok's now time. morphed into like a really modern vine. Almost. Yeah, almost. I the thing the only reason I like elements of TikTok is like the educate. You get some mm -hmm. creators who are really like snappy educational stuff, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, I actually feel like I've learned something. Yeah. But finding that and staying on that in between all the other shit that gets like handed to you is yeah, really yeah, hard. Yeah. No, my, because I I went on TikTok so much, I really have like a very, very specific for you page. I feel like yeah, everyone ends up with that. So I'm just scrolling through and it's just the weirdest. Like, yeah. it's just like stupid frog cat videos. And that then would be your for you page. like 10 facts about the way the world <laughs> works or some stuff like that. It's just- Mine, so it's Mine's like literally like, mix sort of here's a shopify hack that people didn't know about about <laughs> how to increase your conversion rate and i'm like oh sick so That's i actually funny. like i unfollowed so many parkour people because i can see that on instagram and actually yeah. i just want if yeah. i'm going to use it i want to learn shit so yeah, yeah no i just i, I try to just stay out of it yeah. yeah um you're probably going to ask this maybe in a minute but with regards to like future plans and things but so you is is film and everything like where you want to go yeah so i'm yeah. going to study film production at emerson they're known nice. as a as like a theater journalism and like media production school. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm planning on doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna go into like the sports documentary kind of path. Like I definitely enjoy doing that, but I don't know if I want to do that as a career. Yeah. Um. The whole like, like brand I've created for myself. Um. Regarding like in like 
when I was writing like my college applications and like, you know, I had to write like why I wanted to go to this school, like what I want to do after school. I wanted like the thing that I said was I wanted to tell stories for like people in marginalized groups whose voices are just like not being highlighted in yeah, like yeah, yeah. media. And so that kind of ties into like what I do with parkour um, and basically the whole idea of Queen City, um, just like. Which we all get on to. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's kind of like what I want to do. Um, I'm really interested in like social and political commentary in film and movies. I think that's like so interesting and such like an informative and good way for like those stories to be told. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my whole idea. Surrounding oh, that. Is that your favorite kind of like type of film then? Like I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Did you did you watch Don't Look Up? Is that new? The new Netflix one with Jennifer Lawrence. And no, 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 no. But I, I want that's on my list. Wow. I that, haven't watched a movie. You would, you would love time. that, but it's, it's scary to watch. Yeah. Did you see the thing recently with the BBC yeah. weather guy? I yeah. saw yeah. that. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's, it's so scary to, for, for those who haven't watched it. It's um, a film of that tells the story of a meteor coming to Earth, and sci like a scientist discovers it, and then it just, it's got like a lot of mirroring for um, the climate crisis mm. and you can really tell it's not i don't i wouldn't say it's so obviously it's shoved down your like like but shoved in your face it's a nice balance yeah. but it's a really nice yeah, balance I like the and subtle, it, it really the like irked me because i was like, yeah, I, like it ooh. made me feel so uncomfortable that it was like that just out like yeah. Yeah. oh have yeah. you seen the big short no. The Big Short is one of my favorite films. It's made by the same people who made Don't Look Up, but it's all about the financial crisis, but mm -hmm. it's done after the financial crisis happened. And it's, um, it's I fucking love it. I've watched it so many times. <laughs> and they just have these amazing bits where they break it down and they explain why the financial crisis happened in these like, just really interesting ways. And it's, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's serious. Like if you enjoyed it, it's a little bit more like straight to the point than that mm -hmm. one. It's a little less, um, kind of mirroring and more just like telling the story with yeah. some funny elements, but it's, I really enjoyed it. I like enjoy like Get Out and Parasite. Yeah. Like those two are like- I watched Parasite for the first time the other day. Really? Fucking, it's, and it it's stayed, amazing. it stayed, cause I'd, I'd wanted to see it when it was doing all the Oscars and things. Yeah. And then just like, didn't get you to see it in the cinema. It, yeah. And I kept seeing it was on Netflix and I had it on my list and things. No, on Amazon, whatever it was. And like, just to kind of, I'm really, now since having Daisy, I really don't watch that many films mm -hmm. because of just like the time Fine. and things. You were yeah. such a film guy as well. I, I am and I'm not. Like I like. I feel that. I like. People assume when you make films, you do you you're, know. Oh, like cinephile. Like you. No, you no, watch no, every, I'm every, sure Bloggy has a much more like in-depth knowledge of yeah. like you know proper films. No, he actually yeah. does. He keeps asking me about. He keeps. At, <laughs> Bloggy has said that that like sentence like Have you seen this before? A million times to me in the past like few days. Yeah. And I've not seen any of them. And he, every single time without fail, he's like. Are you for real? You haven't have you seen, seen it? You like, haven't seen it. Casanova and all these like, oh, I like none I'm of like, the no, classes. Blocky. Casablanca, you mean? Yeah. Casablanca, yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And we got to the conclusion that I only really watched cartoons. <laughs> because when I haven't seen like Parasite, I, I, like I'm not really like, I'm really clued up on it. Good. But when you say Parasite, I think of the anime. That's so And that funny. is, a, it's a very good anime. I didn't even know there was an anime called Parasite. See, exactly. This is where we're different. I have to keep, I, I'll keep my views off of anime off this podcast because people mm. hate me for it. Probably best. It's um, fine, anime fan listeners. I'll beat Charles up. It's fine. Cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Parasite really stuck with me. Like yeah, my jaw was on the floor. It just afterwards, like a couple of days later, because we watched it literally last week. Mm -hmm. um, I was just like, it makes you think. But also, it's so refreshing because mm -hmm. it's not like it. Used to, it makes you suddenly realize how many other films follow like quite a standard formula. Yeah, and they're just like cool twists that weren't, you yeah, know, like obvious twists. And yeah. I was just like, wow, that was Stuff a like that. I, I just, it's so- No yeah. spoilers, so cool. please. Bloggy, well, no spoilers, no spoilers. Bloggy, have you seen it? Yeah. Of course he has. <sighs> yeah, it's good. Like I don't know why the, I don't know. Can, we, can we watch it? Can we watch it? Like, yeah. Yeah, okay, we're gonna watch it. And then I will I will feedback yeah. on what I think. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, just, I, don't, I don't watch much, uh, you know, what's like real life, like actual, <laughs> actual characters. I feel like I, yeah, no, live action, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of live action. I, I, I enjoy live action films, but for some reason, I just always end up watching little cartoons. Nice. No, I can't. It's like cartoons. my safe little bubble, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Enough about Hollywood movies. What time yeah. are we on? Do I, am I We're 44, we're fine. Okay. How does it feel? It sounds like aged 18, mm -hmm. you feel like, I mean, when I was your age, I 
maybe naively felt quite comfortable with where I wanted to go because I was just like, I just want to train and make videos. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have, I didn't go to uni for film. And also parkour was nowhere near as established as it is now. Yeah. So I guess that was kind of a more of a, a reckless like naivety. Yeah. It sounds like you kind of have like, you're like, cool, I know where I'm heading. Like mm. I know what I want to do. And a lot of people your age aren't in that boat. Mm -hmm. They're like, so many people go to uni and they're just like, like, what do I do? Yeah, what do I do? Like, do you feel kind of quite content in the fact that you've got not a mission for the next few years, but at least you're like, you're on that path? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think, yeah, I'm pretty confident with like what I want to do in the next few years. Um, I don't know if I'll stay on that path and I'm telling myself that I'm comfortable with that idea, but I, uh, that might just be me lying to myself. I think mm. like, you don't want to have, I mean, it's great to have, you know, your 10, 20 year plans and all yeah. that bullshit, but like- Yeah, no, but that's, yeah. At that your sounds age, horrible. No, yeah. that does sound horrible. At your age, it's like, cool. If you can just stick with something for a couple of years, yeah. see where it goes. It's like baby steps. Bloggy with his three year plan. That he's explained to me. <laughs> Got a very specific three year plan. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And in, with regards to like the, the, athlete side of things mm -hmm. what are your aspirations there i have no idea with parkour like i enjoy doing it i don't think i'd ever want to do anything like professional yeah um just because that like takes so much energy and time and i don't think i'd be able to balance two things like that two really big things like that and i was talking to nina in japan and she was saying how like um, it's really stressful to like train for something, like train mm. for a competition, because it takes the joy out of doing it for yourself. Yeah. And I just like parkour because I like doing it for myself and I like pushing myself and not pushing myself for something in the future. And I think that's like added stress if I were to go that route would just like tear me apart. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, the stress and then all of that negativity you feel in the lead up to it. And then it really depends on how you do in the competition that really alters how you feel about competition for like the next competition. Yeah. Cause if you work really hard and then butcher it. I know a lot of people- it's like horrible. I know a lot of people like my age, like who do competitions are slowly like changing like the way they, like the way they feel about competitions are changing just cause mm. it's so like so much pressure, so much stress, like, it's not like enjoyable for yourself. And yeah. I feel like people just go there to meet friends and have fun, which is totally fine. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't really done competitions, so I wouldn't, that's not, I'm not coming from a place of me like knowing and experiencing that firsthand, but um, I'm just like imagining myself in that situation. Are you ready for this incredible segue that is then ruined because I've called it out as a segue? Let's do it. Uh, I fucked it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I was, nice. I was gonna transition that into basically, so obviously, but how did you that that's your sort of your competition you've never done them but how what was your view of like filming for a big project like queen city there we go i got it there okay <laughs> so you're so obviously like because that's like a shoot and it's right, limited right, right. time oh my god i love that that was amazing i mean queen it looks city. amazing like yeah it's so it was jealous. like life-changing yeah, yeah truly it like I was the youngest one there, obviously, and so like by, everyone- By a lot as mm. well. Yeah, because Sarah was 26 or 25, and still then she was, what, like six, seven years older than me. Yeah, but yeah. um, yeah, they all just felt like big sisters, and because I don't have any older siblings, that was great. That's and really cool. It was, I know Rachel talked about this on, I don't know if it was the last podcast or whatever, but like how you felt like imposter syndrome. Yeah, I didn't feel imposter syndrome because like I knew I was valued there as a part of the team because mm -hmm. Max like kept reiterating why all of us like were there, like why like we were valued in that space. And I think that's what makes him like a, a very great leader. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I think I still felt like an outlier just because I was younger and I also had a very different style than everyone else. Mm -hmm. So like, I wasn't able to do a lot of the challenges that like Tam or Alyssa was doing just cause I don't have that upper body strength and that's not where my focus is. Yeah. And when I would watch like them try like the dino challenge at like OutRun, I wasn't able to do that. I still enjoyed watching them do it, but a part of me was like, oh, I wish I could do that. And I guess that's like a motivator for me to try to improve that area in my parkour training in the future. But um. Mm. It wasn't anything like negative. I guess it was just like prompted self-reflection. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find that when I get to a competition though, like if I do compete, it's like the same thing. It's like, oh, everyone's got this one challenge and I can't do that. Oh, I should probably work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. dinos for me. I hate dinos. Tam, I, I, there was a dino that uh, Tam did in NAPC mm -hmm. that 
I couldn't do. And I was just like, fuck me, she's so fucking good at dinos. Yeah, like, no, she's, she's just, insane. She's so strong. Built like a tank. It's so inspiring as well. Like, like I feel like on a project like that, obviously yeah. seeing people training and you mm-hmm. can't really join in because you don't feel as, yeah, maybe you're just not strong and stuff like that. That yeah. I would get that as well. But seeing like women do that, yeah, it would be so, so much so different compared so to seeing different. men do that. And then people listening are probably going to be like, oh, that's so sexist to say. <laughs> no, it's um, <laughs> no, it's, it's just based on, I think, inspiration. And as it's well. also just like, like, like female training energy is so different than men. Oh yeah, energy. oh yeah. It's you so feel different. it radiating. Yeah, and then it's like so happy, and you just you just feel happy, and then you feel so like everyone's so nice. And so and even supportive. if I can't do something, like I automatically switch it to like a more like positive like growth mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing is, because I don't feel any like I never feel embarrassed to try. Yeah, in front of like yeah. The ladies. I, feel, I feel embarrassed to try in front of guys all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the vibe, the vibe that Queen City gave off was that just like pure the vibe supportive. Was so like, nice. Yeah. Everyone yeah. just like really backing each other up. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. I showed my English teacher the trailer when it came out because she lived in London for a while and she like taught in a really like poor area and a lot of like the kids she taught did parkour. Uh, and okay. so she was like, oh, like I'm super interested. Like I want to see it. And so she saw it and she's like, oh my God, I love the energy that this like trailer is like radiating. And then she came to a screening that we had at Rome with her daughter. And I asked her afterwards, I was like, did this want to make you do parkour? And she's like, yeah. And That's I was like, sick. that that makes me so happy. Yeah. What I loved about the film was because it was just obviously all these women, there wasn't a single clip from a guy Mm -hmm. Mm. and obviously it's just it just feels really refreshing because obviously i've seen so so many parkour videos where it's like i'm just waiting to see like one girl yeah somewhere that was me with soul i was like when is rachel yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) like it's it's so tough uh, yeah i mean like just like things like the the breach video Mm -hmm, or like mm -hmm. any old motors video while it's still inspiring when it's like when there was for example, like Lynn and Storm, mm-hmm. like I would just scour the YouTube yeah. just, for just for her. Yeah. And that's the thing that like we, as men, it just doesn't pop into it. Like, yeah. it, And then when we hear stuff like that, we're like, fuck. And like the thing that I still can't get over is the map t-shirt that doesn't have- Yeah, no, did we ever mention this? I don't think it's ever mentioned. Oh, it okay, so basically- It doesn't have a girl on the back. Oh, really? And like that, I guess is just like, like no, absolutely no discredit to, yeah. to Tyler mm-hmm. Spiffy, but it's just like, I guess he just, it's just it's subconscious. Just, and I didn't, yeah. I didn't clock it. The thing like, is, this is the things that did, did I, I that? bring up. Yeah, Rachel yeah. mentioned yeah. it, yeah. So I obviously like been thinking about stuff like this for a while of just like, how can you make the clothing more like representative yeah. of like the actual community? And it's yeah. just things like that. Like we it's obviously Rachel. released the map t-shirt and then the fire t-shirt. And then if you look at any motor t-shirt, there's no t-shirt with an illustration or a photo that represents a girl anywhere. Yeah. And while that's like, like, you guys made a crop top once. Yeah, Yeah. you're welcome for that idea. (laughs) Please make women's pants, please. The the, the (laughs) hardest thing, right, is that when it comes to like, you know, good stuff like that, pants, sports bras, whatever, is like, it's doing it well enough. Like, I mean, hopefully with Rachel involved, we can start to do more stuff like that because it's like- Yeah, we've got some blanks coming in today of just more- Yeah, we're gonna start testing some like better sort of Mm. blanks that we can do because and there was before kind of, I mean, Bloggy is obviously a new addition, but like before Rachel and kind of Camilla, I always thought about it and it's it's such an easy thing to think about, but mm-hmm. like never would I want to say, oh, like I've designed a woman's legging. Cause I don't know. Yeah, you I, don't know how that works. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I don't want to, I feel like it's, it's sort of t- not taking away from a woman to do but you that. Wanna, you want a voice, you want to like a woman's yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you also need like, like you I need women know. involved in the creative process for sure. Yeah, what was that, Bobby? Uh, was, was literally that like, I don't do women's clothing unless yeah. it's like with someone because I know fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't want to tell you like, yes. oh you should wear this you know like, yeah totally. it's the no same like that. whole idea of like men all being in the you know the CEO room and then they're mm. making all the decisions you need yeah. you need women making decisions on women's things like that's yeah. just like a I guess yeah. it's your general yeah. but that's the whole reason for the obviously the market we're not like a hundred percent on it right now. So that's mm. why it's kind of hard to do yeah, specific that's women's the, yeah, stuff, I mean, which is why I was so important, like uh, bringing up the idea of representation to jars instead, because while we don't necessarily, like maybe right now we don't have the market to just do a sports bra and like leggings, we do like, obviously there's no one who's not gonna buy like a t-shirt with a woman illustrated on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Because it's like, while, 
guys probably wouldn't even think about it. Like like the map t-shirt, if there was a girl on there, no one would even think about it. But any woman buying it might see that and go, huh, nice. Yeah. And then they're like, huh, and nice. That's the, it's like, like that, the, and that's the, the thing, it's just like, and it's, the, it's a huge montage, loads of people on there, like characters, and they're all like quite obviously. They're just, obviously like kind of related to most people. Yeah, and also think, just kind of like yeah. male male forms, and it's yeah. just like fuck. But like, like, no, 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 no hate to Spiffy at all because no, it's, no, it's an incredible piece. But it just reflects like the idea of like when people think about parkour, people yeah. will only really yeah, think yeah. of men. But it's it is it's kind of humbling to hear stuff like that because then it's like shit. Okay, well now from now onwards, it's like we now now if we did it, you know, another yeah. big montage piece, then it's bad. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, now yeah. So if you see another montage piece and there's no woman <laughs> on it, blame Giles because it means he didn't check it with me. First. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least you guys are thinking about it now. It's like a conscious. Yeah, it's yeah. like moved from the back of your head to the front, like the forefront. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's and like it just it just takes like because if if I wasn't here, like they wouldn't, I yeah, wouldn't, I, it wouldn't I, have I, get brought up, and he wouldn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it's and it's like right. it's not like it's not so bad that it's like oh, cancel yeah. Giles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but it's oh, just dude, like, just cancel him. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> 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 we spoke about the lost profits thing on the last one. <laughs> um, it's it's just a bit disappointing, isn't it? Because it's like shit. Yeah. You think you're in a position where you're like, you know, you're sort of you've got the right ideas and the right mindset, but actually, then it's like, oh well, like there's that validation, not validation. Mm-hmm. There's there's the proof of that kind of um, whatever the word is, the the that just in, it's ingrained, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's hard to like you've got to work to to change your sort of not not my views on things yeah the word and that goes for like everything out everything like, yeah not not just clothing or like not just like media representation like literally everything like mm. just like that subconscious stuff that like just like slips through your mind like it should be like brought forward and talked about yeah, yeah. that is there's a lot of stuff that i feel like just slips into the like just goes unconsciously and then you don't even it it, it takes people to point it out yeah. to like uh to work on it and that's where people need to just kind of i guess being aware that like just because like someone pointing it out but in a respectful way like i didn't go to giles and go giles you're a fucking sexist <laughs> yeah. you didn't put any girls in your no, shirts no yeah. i just i just brought it up in a respectful way and then he was like, like open to oh, learning <laughs> about it he wasn't like yeah well why would i put a girl on it because it doesn't need a girl like why do you need a girl on there it's just stupid. <laughs> it's strong yeah. powerful it was, men on the t-shirt yeah obviously. it's like why would you need a girl like just be happy with that. Yeah, he never like, there was no like, it was just yeah. open we, we made, and We made it pink, respectful. Rachel, was that not good enough? <laughs> 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 um, I don't like pink, Giles. <laughs> Do you think I like pink because I'm a woman? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe that's is. sexist. Okay, yeah, my hair isn't intentionally pink, okay? My hair was red and now it's faded to pink. So now I have pink hair, okay? I would still say it's purple. But you said red. What, why you would say you say red? it's how is oh. this purple? Well, I'm gonna know. say red. Red. I'm gonna put, say red. I don't know. Com- put anger. in the comments. Is my hair is my hair red or purple? Quickly, or is bloggy. or is Giles colorblind? Bloggy, change the, the I mean, colour. The light is pretty accurate actually. I can change the white balance. Yeah, change purple. it, make it purple. <laughs> um going back to Queen City. Yeah. Hat. Oh, can I add one thing yes. before you go back? There was um a comment that I saw in my TED talk recently that this kind of goes back to like the, you know, like the vibe of Queen City being so different. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a comment on my TED talk. Someone said like, oh, you're talking about how like female like representation is so important, but like you can still relate to a guy. And yeah, you can totally yeah. still relate to a guy, but like relating to a woman, relating to someone that looks like you is like so much more, it's like so different. And I know? feel as well, like um, like while I appreciate watching men move, yeah, um, I love watching their process, watching them achieve things. When I see a woman do anything, I have so much better of an idea of how fucked it is. Yes. Oh my God, yes. And when I watch a guy do a guy do a 16 foot running pre, and I'm just numb to it now. It feels like out of reach. Like it's it's not the same. But watching a woman do like- Like Like a gap or something. Like I I know like that's big. Like I- Who was the girl, was it yesterday? Massive running arm jump. I think she bounced it. Like just- I I literally had a heart attack when I saw that. Jesus. Who was that? That was Lola. Lola, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's sick. She just- I don't know. I don't know how long she's been training. It doesn't look for very long. But just sends big, big heavy, stuff. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. Heavy, 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 heavy bounce though. Yeah. And like really I, sick, I, I was, like, I, I scrolled the Instagram. I saw a jump. Like I've seen her train before. So I was like, oh, sick. And then she bounced. Up, it. I was like, like, ah, ah. like I get yeah. that on Instagram as yeah. well. Do you ever open Instagram and see like a fuck, yeah, like, like, huh? a, like a really bad? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, like what well, there was one where someone did a descent. I think it, maybe one of the stories did a descent drop and then the rail broke and then they just kept. Oh, falling. I saw that. 
oh, it gives me a heart attack. Little heart attack. Like, yeah. it's like, it's, you need like a jump scare, scare warning on Instagram sometimes. <laughs> but no, yeah. she was really cool. She did a really cool running pre in Sweden. That was like- That's sick. I have a keeper jam. I looked at it when my ankles just <laughs> were barely, at, my ankles were barely attached my feet at the, that point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was, it was pretty, pretty chunky and it was really cool watching her, Sick. watching her do that. Um, what I was going to say is, and you then said about comments is, I, I mean, from what I've seen, the reception of Queen City has been really, really, really positive. Yeah. But has there been any like, I haven't seen anything. No, like, I've you know. literally seen nothing. Yeah, just pure positivity. And it's, oh, it's yeah, so yeah. great. It's, it's yeah. I've, uh, yeah, it's that, some, that's so really joy. nice to see as well. Just like the amount of support yeah. that it got just from everyone. Cause I feel like uh, maybe on the f past projects, like your TED talk, like, uh, your, like yeah. a girl, I feel like the only people that really shared it were women, mm. but Queen City was shared by everyone. Yeah. And yeah. that was the best, like the nicest thing to see. It made me so happy to see. Yeah. yeah. I guess if maybe like if Queen City sat on YouTube and there was a comment section, you probably would get the inevitable probably. like, yeah. oh, guys could do this better. Whatever, yeah, like, bullshit, yeah, yeah. But Why does this exist? Yeah, but hey, fucking it. I, I want to make like a comment, but I tell me if this is like, I don't know if this is bad. Yes. <laughs> I'm going home, okay. Um, one of the reasons I like Queen City so much is because obviously there's, when there's women in a parkour video, the representation is obviously amazing. And it's always like, I'm always most interested in that part, but there's always attention drawn away from them because of men doing mm -hmm. massive shit, mm -hmm. right? But with Queen City, it felt like, I don't know how, quite how to explain it, but everything seemed to be like, so on like the same page. And it was like, you really were able to appreciate like the specific parts you were like, because of the, the way that it was edited, like you like you knew which parts like mm -hmm. they showed so like well, like which yeah. yeah, which parts were dedicated to who and who worked on what, yeah. and it felt like because it, there was balance there, yeah. because there wasn't like just a guy coming in and doing the most fucking yeah. massive front flip down three flights of like <laughs> three stories or anything like that. Yeah. It was like there felt like a lot of balance, and the level felt at a point where you could appreciate things for what they were. Yeah. And I don't know if that sounds mean, cause I'm not saying like that guys could have done it better in that way, but like the fact that there was no guy in it, it really brought it to be balanced. Yeah. yeah so that, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's a, if that's kind of bad because if there was guys in it, while I'd still appreciate it, I feel like for the men watching, it brought it down to, it brought it to a point where they were finally, almost not finally, but like they were really able to appreciate stuff that was happening on screen and they weren't just dis distracted by other shit. Yeah, you no, know? I get what you're saying. I mean, cause I, I watched it with, I guess Jordan must've been there and all the Belgians. So a, a room for the guys mm. and Sarah, and yeah. we were all like, cheering along like, exactly it, the clip but, that you showed on instagram was like when i was like being interviewed and i was like oh my god they're watching <laughs> <laughs> what is it when because we watched a uh, sneak peek at the start yeah yeah here. Sure and yeah. then i watched it when i was in prague with uh Ketchka and two other guys from cologne but especially when we were here watching it together with keelan and you just being sat and we were watching it and hearing keelan and like you as well, watch like Tam do a challenge and go, wow, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got a little bit emotional. Yeah. Because that that's where my point comes up is like the things you were really able to appreciate things because I feel like if that those clips from each woman had been split up and then they just been like the clips, the few clips of a woman in a mostly male dominated project, seeing those clips, maybe they would have just been like, Mm. scattered throughout like scattered throughout and then they would just be like cool like mm. but it's because it was all in this one project the balance was there and it really felt appreciated to, like it really felt like it got the appreciation it deserved yeah. it is it's, it's such a tricky thing to kind of like uh to sort of break down because there there is like as you're sort of saying you could have yeah you could have a, a guy do a 15 foot running pre and then a girl do it or well, I, don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. And, it, and no, it's I impossible to, to it's impossible to, not impossible, but like it's 
it, it happens so subconsciously, the comparison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think that comparison technically could happen between, like, let's the say you in. took, yeah, yeah. You, you took Tam and then somebody, who, a girl who's never trained before, yeah. you would obviously make that comparison right. because mm-hmm. it's like, here is one version and here's the other. And I think, as you're saying, with, with when it's some sort of I don't know, four guys in a video and one girl, it's that even... That comparison like, comes out more. Like, yeah, and even if you're yeah. trying to appreciate the women's movement, it's so... It's hard. It's yeah. so no, kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. It totally makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Because I think the way I'd explain it the easiest is in Seoul, obviously, I do the running pre. Hmm. But like I said in the last podcast, Jaden, like, at that time in the film, Jaden's already age twisted. Sam's already 360'd it. Yeah. And Ed's already flipped it. Whereas if it was in Queen City... Like if it was in like, and if like Tam did yeah. the jump, then like Alyssa yeah. did the jump, and yeah. I did the jump. It yeah, would, like all of it would like. I feel like it would have been appreciated way more. Yeah, especially like in the in, especially in the environment of women, because that was probably the most fuck running period done at the time. Yeah, and like while the guys appreciated it, I feel like appre- I feel like the women appreciate it way more when I tell them how far it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah because. Yeah. Obviously, women have generally smaller feet, but when I say it's seventeen the, of my feet, that they go. Fuck. Whereas yeah. the guys go, oh wait, you have small feet there, so it's like 14, 15 foot, right? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I felt like the girls appreciate it so much more, like just the distance and like, I feel like we all have this like more understanding of like how mm-hmm. far, like standing pre, like if you can standing pre like over 10 of your, of like And also your power, feet, like, that's like not just distance, but how much like energy you have to put into that jump. Yeah. Like, and also is just much confidence because running pre suck for like, yeah. you've got to commit all the way through oh yeah 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 yeah. all the way through but i felt like that that is what i'm trying to say like if that clip was used in a project like queen city i feel like it would have been maybe a little more appreciated i'm not saying it wasn't appreciated because i still got so much nice feedback from it Mm -hmm. but you wouldn't have had the pretense of all the guys doing crazy shit over it first to maybe like knock it down a little bit you know yeah yeah it makes sense (laughs) do we like it's weird because I don't, you don't want to say, oh, well, like, you know, there should be a, a team of girls who just put out videos of just girls. But yeah. the, mm. because it's like, you don't want to say, oh, well, like, guys do that and girls do that. But in some ways, if you guys were to do that, like a, a, a group of women, it would be, a, it, in some ways, it would be a fucking driving force of, yeah. like, oh, yeah. sickness. Like, I think, who was it? I think they mentioned this on the store podcast when they had like the round table with like Christine, Kira, yeah, Lynn. Yeah. And I think one of them brought up like how they used to think like all women's, like only women's classes was like not that important, but like their their view on that has changed because like it just like cultivates so much more confidence and yeah. just like that's like needed when you're starting out mm. first. And yeah, so like you can make arguments for both sides. Like, mm. oh, you don't have to separate the two, but like there are Benefits yeah, it's because I don't. I obviously, I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to yeah, separate sure. it. But it's like I don't want to separate. It, I want to be super mixed. But it's understanding that there is benefits to separation sometimes, especially when it comes to confidence when women are starting out. And yeah. then, even for me, like obviously, I'm not a beginner. But if I had a women's class that I would like, if there was a women's class near me, and then when I moved to Belgium, I'm hoping to start that up. Mm-hmm just having once a week a women's class, yeah. I feel like I've grown up severely lacking like female companionship because it's parkour's my life and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm grumpy because I just have to be friends with boys and then spend my time with bloggy being annoying. <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like bloggy can confirm that I treat him like a girl best, like a girl best friend. Like, gossip to him all the time. I'm like, bloggy, bloggy, girl talk now. And what he's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but because like, I've grown up like lacking female yeah. companionship, it's like, there's always that part of me that like, I feel like deep down, just women having- You long for that. Yeah. Tam women literally having, says that in Queen City. She's yeah. like, oh, like the feeling, like I've always like longed for like a female partner. Like she yeah. literally says that in Queen City. I think it's like, and there's gotta be some, I don't know what the word would be, but like, it, it I probably just from a how like um, a human yeah like, yeah, like a, a almost like yeah I think it's a like, basic human thing it's like yeah. um, not just parkour people yeah. no yeah yeah but creating yeah. a woman's class not only would it bring more women in and make them a bit more comfortable to try it it would really just create that environment that I think women need like yeah it's the same reason that women have girls holidays girls yeah. night out girls like girls night in that kind of thing 
because it just creates that one thing that I think all women need and that is just pure female yeah. companionship. If the only thing I would like to claim back is chick flicks and I would like chick flicks just to be considered. Yeah, sometime. it's fine. Like, yeah, you can have that. I like I like it. If I started out in an all girls class, I think I would have started out with a lot more confidence because my yeah. parkour coach like, like would know me as like the student who would always second guess herself mm. and always like doubt her abilities. And like when I was learning corks, like I, or like backflips even, like I, like he always had to be there to reassure me because I, I couldn't do that for myself. And I think if I had a female coach or just like surrounded by like more females, female athletes my age, I would have been much more yeah. confident starting out. I think the, the female coach thing, like just having even a coach as a woman, just even for boys as well is yeah. so beneficial because when I started in Nova City, I think the first class I took, I had one of the guys be like, why is a woman teaching this parkour? Yeah. And then because I'm horrible. I was like, right, so we're gonna do climb ups today. Nice. And then obviously none of them could do a climb up. But yeah, I could yeah. do a climb up. Amazing. So they were like, oh, so she's, she's strong. And then during the, like the open sessions, I would like train about a bit and then they quickly realize, yeah. oh, she's n not a gymnast and she's not a dancer. I think that's, she actually it, does honestly, that's just a good thing to do because it is if, if you know, young teenager has that preconceived But they motion, really you know. came around quickly because it, I remember like uh, a few months in and just teaching and then there'll be like a new kid that would just say something like, oh, women and girls don't eat parkour. And then the rest of the kids in my class be like, oh, you can't say that she's so much better than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really nice to see. Cause I feel like, especially when you get from that age as well, it just like, not only does it create representation for like the women, but it creates representation of women in the sport for men. So yeah. they don't see it as such oh, like a weird 100%, 100%. thing. hundred percent. Like even like, once again, returning to the football, which is weird because I have never liked football throughout my entire life. But like the 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 rise of women's football recently, mm. and you're seeing this like shift of like the the match that was the other night was mm. the biggest viewed Euros. Day. Yeah, the Euros. Yeah, it was the final. The most viewed out of men or yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's wow. been this huge That's shift, awesome. this huge huge shift in like you know football can have quite this kind of laddish, sometimes mm. a bit bigoted like audience, yeah. and a lot of men just being like. Yeah, I get behind this, and it's, it's so seeing awesome. women know that in those positions, whether it's a coach or whether it's a you know athletic yeah. sort of thing, and and yeah. being like sick. Yeah, yeah. So. I actually was watching a lot of um, videos online from it, and there were lots of little edits, and I got really emotional last night just looking. At, <laughs> I'm serious, I cried <laughs> because I was watching it all the like the videos and the interviews of the women mm -hmm. and watching them dancing and watching them celebrate and also just watching them talk about like the battle it was to get here and like how well, some of them were like working jobs when yeah, they first got yeah. started like how oh, that's crazy. much they went through to be able to get there and then they've made a lot of campaigns and stuff just about like the sexism that they faced and i got really emotional when they were talking about it because it was so nice to see like they're finally getting the recognition yeah, yeah. Yeah. i saw this one clip of um an interviewer outside the stadium at the end and there's like football fans coming out and there's actually a big chunk of like rowdy men and that actually made me quite happy oh, because yeah. they came out and they've got their face painted like the England flag yeah. and when they interviewed one of them then he comes up and he's like yeah so uh, that was the sickest game I've ever seen Mandem couldn't bring it home so the girls did yeah, so, Dem, uh, yeah. so the Galdem did Gal and I was like yes <laughs> 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 like that that's like it's, the, it's like so refreshing because it's like that usually that kind of person like you'd expect that kind of person to be like oh women belong with kitchen yeah, kind of yeah. thing but he was like no man damn couldn't do it so god damn did it kind of thing i was like yeah that's so nice that's it's so just refreshing. a big shift I think yeah and i feel like we're getting that kind of in parkour just that, like as more and more projects come out yeah i see more and more people like like i said when we were watching this and like hearing you guys going yeah that's sick it was like huh yeah, yeah. they're finally getting it <laughs> <laughs> But no, that that's like, it's just really nice to see the evolution. That's why I got so emotional watching the football because I know they've, they were banned mm. from playing football for like 50 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just watching them come back from that, it was incredible. There was something, I because I think Sarah was watching, I was putting Daisy to bed and then it, like, it all finished and then we had dinner and then I went back into the living room and it was still playing. And um, there were, the women were still on the pitch like an hour later, mm. like going around and like saying thank you and like dancing about and things. Yeah but they were saying how like the the men in football would have left immediately. <laughs> and like they all get you know, paid obnoxious amounts and yeah. the women have like mm -hmm. just scraped by together and things and it's like sick. Yeah, so. yeah but I, I think there was also the huge difference in 
um, the crowds between football, women's football and men's football. Um, I saw like a little article on it just about the, just like percentages of like rowdiness and like yeah, domestic yeah, yeah. violence that goes up. Like, like obviously there's none of that with women's football and like they like they interviewed people the crowds at the game and they basically said they prefer watching women's football because it feels like a safer environment and they feel like more included and they feel like the whole aspect of it is way more inclusive yeah and like the the percentage of women at the women's football is much much higher but they also said they enjoy men's football they just prefer watching the women because they feel more welcome there and stuff yeah, like that yeah which, which is, is kind of exactly what we're saying with parkour isn't yeah it? That is, I forgot about that. There's some mental statistic about domestic violence, isn't it? Like whenever yeah. whenever England have a football match, the domestic violence in, in England up. goes up yeah. during the match because obviously it's like, you're disturbing my game. Oh my God, that's... So but it's like, that's if, I can't remember the exact statistics. So I don't want to quote it. Yeah, it's pretty horrendous. But though. it is horrendous. But it's like, if England wins, it goes up by like... Yeah, because it's just people's like crowding. And if it, in England lose, it goes up by double that. Oh God, <laughs> it's crazy. That's, yeah. Um, sorry, that was. The, by the way, just to clarify, we're talking about soccer. Oh, soccer. soccer, soccer, guys. Yeah, I played soccer. Don't anymore. Any good? I miss it. Um, yeah, eh, not like great. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Is it like prevalent in America? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's prevalent, but like, uh, is it in like every school and things? Or is yeah. It? Oh, really? Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, I would say so. Soccer. Soccer, which actually I found out is what we used to. Apparently, English England used to call football soccer, and then we changed it to football. Yeah, because we're right. No, no, but we called it soccer in the first place. Yeah, I know, but then we went, this is a stupid name, we're changing it, and we did. But technically, it still means Americans are right. No, it means that we changed it when uh, something that needs to be changed. I'm trying to soccer save Soccer is the dumbest word I've ever heard in my life. I'm trying to save you here, Rachel. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, kick it around without your shoes on? No, no, you're not kicking around in your socks. It's, what? <laughs> oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess soccer, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah so, okay fair enough um but american football you, you you use your hands huh what i can do is i can just turn it down like this mute yeah <laughs> uh so back to queen city what was your um i guess like favorite or hard like what was the sort of in with, with regards to like movement and things what was your most rewarding element of that that you came away from um or was I it less think, about that and more about the trip, like the thing in general? I think like all of it, really. I think what I learned the most is that um, I should wait. I wrote this down on my phone. Oh, she's prepared. No, I wrote notes because like I'm a horrible speaker and I get so. Nervous. I mean, you've been killing it. <laughs> Thank so far, you. So. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I wrote it down as like approachable risk. So something that doesn't seem like like too impossible, but will it like is still outside of my comfort zone. And I learned from this trip that I should be doing more of that because yeah. first off that the feeling is great. It's like so satisfying. It's so like fulfilling when you're able to complete a challenge or a line that is a little bit outside of your comfort zone, but not like too outside of your comfort zone. And mm -hmm. like, because in Queen City, I feel like I did none of that. I was like, and then I watched Tam and Alyssa and Sheep do things that I would not feel comfortable doing. I was like, oh, I, I, can, I can get there if I use like this term approachable the steps risk. Together, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, in terms of like actual movement I did, I think the line I did at, I think it was called Wallace Park, like the big, like, beige colored blocks by like the yep. little stream that's like the most fit for my style i feel like just a lot of different opportunities for movement um and i worked on a line there and then i had a bit about like me like not doing the side flip until yeah. like after the line i totally could have done the side flip but like the heat was getting to me i was dehydrated i like had a little bit of a headache so i didn't do it but like i just did the side flip like just on its own. It's a cute clip though. I like that. I could have totally done it in the line and I was really upset that I didn't do it in the line, but I think just Hi, stuff stuff like, like yeah. that happens and I feel like I should be doing more of committing to things that I don't think are possible at first, but then I like work myself up. Just there. become reckless. You know? <laughs> just send. Yeah. Just send it. Just like my name, just send it. Just uh, send it. Oh like yeah, that. I actually like that. But um I like that yeah. term though, because I, I was actually thinking this the other day because I don't train crazy often mm -hmm. and so often I'm surrounded by people who are so much better than me yeah and I'll think about things that oh I'd love to do that one day and then my brain goes well that's fucking scary and dangerous and you're gonna die yeah and then I'm like oh I can't do that but actually if I I it's I find it really hard but I have to like when I go out training sometimes I'll be thinking mm -hmm. almost 
too far ahead of my ability yeah and be getting stressed out that i can't do those things yeah yeah, yeah. Or that i'm gonna try those things and then walk away because i'm scared yeah but actually if i then go out and spend a day where i go oh this is where i want to be but mm. i'm gonna focus here which is still outside of my comfort zone yeah then i come back feeling so fucking satisfied yeah because you've still pushed your level you've mm. improved but yeah. like and it is not that. too far out yeah yeah. yeah yeah and i always tend to like push myself outside of the com outside of my comfort zone when i'm with people like yeah. solo training is good to drill stuff and just be like like focus on one thing that I can do, but I'm not good at, but doing something that I've never tried I before. I really is don't much, like it, yeah. It's much better when I'm with people. Um, and I feel like I should have taken advantage of that while I was, you know, filming Queen City, because I had all of these people with different styles there to help me push myself, but yeah. I didn't take advantage of that. And I feel like I should have, and I regret it, but happens and, yeah. I'll, and I'll do it again someday. Yeah, like a, a, you know, yeah. going out and doing, you know, little things or like a mm -hmm. like something like standing pre, like singular movements. Yeah. I could technically on my own do that to my max. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as long as it isn't high, right. that's fine. But the second it's like a, a, you know, a line that has an element of risk to it or anything at height, I do not want to do it unless I'm with people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah, well, anything height. at height you don't want to do, like, in case you do fall yeah, and something yeah. does go wrong. But you I, need, so, I you I need mean, someone there. I mean height even like, you know, just even, not even the tie of this wall, just yeah. high enough that you could have like a bit of a bad bail. It's just having yeah, something yeah, else yeah. so much nicer. Yeah, 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 you don't want to be calling an ambulance for yourself. That's yeah. a bit awkward. <laughs> Plus, they're like, how'd you get here? And you're like, I jumped. You're like, uh huh? Yeah. <laughs> they're like, what? I've, got, I've got the clip on my phone. It's propped up over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, speaking of that, um, do you have any like future pl uh, plans for any projects or goals coming up? Anything like big in the sen? Diary? Not, not really, but I'm super excited just to get good while I'm in Boston just because I'm in a city and it's kind of bad now because I'm in New York, right, an hour away from the city. So I'm like, I'm like close enough to like go into like New York City to hang with my friends, but not close enough to like spend a whole day training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what sucks because like I see people in New York City, like the whole New York City parkour community is there all the time. And I could totally do that, but it's just like school and work and just like all of that combined. It's so hard to balance. And yeah, so I'm, I'm hopefully when I'm in Boston, I'll have time to train. It's like on your yeah. doorstep, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's by myself, I'll be able to do that, so. Well, you said there was gyms, right, so. Yeah, but Hub is far away. Hub is like 40 minutes yeah, away. Yeah, Hub's kind of in the middle of, I don't know. It's like in a suburb. Yeah. It's not really in Boston. Oh, okay. But yeah, there are training spots in Boston. And another thing that I'm worried about is the weather, how cold it's gonna get, because I don't do well with too hot or too cold, because then mm. I'm like, the second it gets too hot, I'm like, okay, I'm like tired. I don't want to do this anymore. Isn't that is, like, doesn't Boston just get both? I swear. Yeah, Boston can get yeah, pretty right. snowy. Can't yeah, it? yeah, it'll get it'll get colder, probably quicker than New York. But um, yeah, this is oh, England's just rain all the time. But we're pretty English, used. English is annoying. <laughs> like, well, there's there's crazy statistics about um, the amount of rain that England gets compared to places like Paris and like Barcelona and yeah. things, and we don't actually get crazy more. more rain but yeah. it never gets to like in other countries sort of on a similar area to us it'll rain but it'll dry much quicker because it'll get warmer mm. again uh but and it we, just stays wet here. yeah england in the winter is just damp yeah everything's just soggy oh that's gross and the concrete and all the moss and it's just like mm -hmm. you can go out and it hasn't rained for three days but there's just moisture in the air and you're like no can't train yeah or, no, or I not, don't... can't train to my full ability yeah so. all sad and mopey here in england yeah but other than that, I don't think, I mean, I'm definitely like craving to make something Yeah. and I'm craving to like move and like make a project. I just don't know what that is, mm, but cool. hopefully, yeah. Do you think Queen City 2 could be a thing? <sighs> yeah, it probably, mm, I don't know. I know Max was talking about something. I don't know if like, cause I was originally supposed to be kind of like a PA on Queen City, but then I just caught up in the movement. So I just like didn't do uh, anything. Okay. I didn't even hold a camera. But maybe, I mean, I know Max's projects in mind. I know that's I would, point. I would love to see that same group loaded into a bus and driven around America. Oh my God, yeah. that'd be so cool. I mean? Not like, just confined to Colorado. I would love to see, edge, I would love to see that group like come to Europe. Yeah, true. Like a Europe yeah, they want to, I know Max wants to do like stuff with female athletes in Europe too. Yeah. So. Let's just get a big it's, bus. So much that's, that's, a, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Maybe next year It's actually a year at all yeah. with See, Dude, I'm not I want to do up. something with you. I don't want to do anything with you, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well. <laughs> no, but I'm not old enough to hire a van yet or like a minibus, but maybe yes. I'll get 
I'm just, you gotta be. <laughs> hey Liam, do you wanna I'll just make him do it? Cause why not? Yeah. Um, and just get someone to drive a minibus of people around and then shoot around. some stuff. Yeah. I don't know, no idea, but that's something I wanna do next year. Uh, yeah. I had a question and then I forgot it. Which is You're great. not a very good podcast person, are mm. you? This is why you should write it down. Oh. Well, I asked you to airdrop me the notes and you were like, well, I've written them down. I was like, great. Was it yeah. about Queen City? The question? Mm, I think so, but I now can't remember. Fuck. City, City of Queens. Was Queen, Queen project, City. Or it was more projects. It was training. It was gyms, Something to do with Boston. Boston. Mm. Boston. That's really upsetting. Yeah. Well, I knew it was going to be a good one. Right, okay. It, it might not have been. Have you, ch have you checked your phone for any questions? Yeah, they're all very general though. I was going to hit you with the top five parkour athletes. Loser! Oh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Did Bullshit. I say loser? No, wrong one. Top five, top oh, yeah. five, top five. Jeez. Top five Jeez. athletes? The top five athletes. Just, just, just top five athletes. Your you favorite. To watch. If um, you feel so much pressure that you can't like order them, you don't have to. Um, I really enjoy... Sarah Peterkova, she has a really cool style. Um, and I don't know, like how she's your thing? Thing. <laughs> I'm your thing. And then just remembered we're recording it's with right. cameras. So I was like, yawning really dramatically, looked to blog, I was like, oh wait, Straight yeah. down the barrel. <laughs> Sorry, um, carry on. Yeah, Sarah Peterkova, she hasn't posted in a while, but she has a really cool, cool mm. style that I really enjoy watching. And then I kind of take inspiration from um, Lilu. It's yeah. incredible. She's so cool. She's it's, so. Cool. I've never met her. I really want. I to remember be my question. It's okay. irrelevant to this. I'll remember. Okay, okay. It. Keep going. Okay. 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 Um, who else? You and Elise, like for sure, up there. Just checking them on that list, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't actually care. I just wanted to make sure I was on there. <laughs> no, you you are definitely gonna be on there. I have a list. Oh, oh you've got so we many notes. Sam. Is there anything we've spoken about that we that you, you've written down that you have we haven't spoken about? Um, yeah, but I feel like it'd be weird to just insert. If you've got stuff you want to talk about, we can talk about it. I don't want um, to just, I'll just look and then like, so she doesn't have to actually say it. And I'll just be like, oh um, yeah, I just had this idea. Uh, I talked about that. Um, oh, there is one thing that I can mention later, but okay. let me, oh, Camilla and has, well, that's past five, but mm, Hazal five. And, just, yeah. just and Lisa, like they're just, just reel all them so off, cool. Just reel them off. They're, and all, then they're it, all fucking cool. They're just, yeah, yeah. But, um, okay, you ask your question first. Is this your first time in England? Yeah. Uh, I've long? actually- <laughs> And you're I here, was actually, you poor thing, you're in state I was us. actually, no, this is great. No, you haven't seen the area. Um, this is fun, uh, this is fun. Um, <laughs> the police coming last I, I, I made like <laughs> I made like a list hoping that you'd ask me that because I wrote down things that I've observed or learned oh, while I'm in England. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. What do you think about Perfect. our plugs? Gross, <laughs> why would you do that? Which bit? So you don't get electrocuted. That, that thing. The switch. Oh, that's cool. I'm talking about the actual shape of the plug. Oh, the shape is, but it's safe. I watched a whole video, Tom Scott video about why English plugs are Because why you can't put your yeah. fingers in it? Yeah, there's loads of extra stuff. You, can't, you, so you can't don't have to worry like about Daisy being bit. electrocuted. Yep. That's great. Yep. No, but the plug, the actual plugs are cool because it's like, feels like you're saving energy, right? Big. Is that the? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. no, you actually are because even you're when you have, a, if you have a phone charger plugged in, like in America, you just plug it in. If you just leave it plugged in, it's still like, there's still energy coming out of it. Yeah. Whereas in England, you can actually turn no, it that, off that's, that's and cool. keep the charger in the cool. wall. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Let, me read, let me read my list. English observations. Things I learned while in England. They use the word jubilee and jubilation a lot. Oh, ignore any of that shit. That's ignore interesting. You also have a line called the, like the like a subway. Oh, so the jubilee, jubilee line is a, 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 that's a train line. But it, uh, I've also heard someone like say like, Oh, like we're jubilated or something? I don't know if that's worth I have words. never heard that so in my 19 years of living we, in England. We just had the Queen's Jubilee, which was what, 50, 80, 100? Uh, uh, that, yeah, I saw I that wasn't, I wasn't here for that to be fair. It's, it's a cute word. I just, just we don't I use it in the US. You probably will see it about, there's lots of like purple banners yeah, being yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the Queen did something and everyone's like, Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Um, God save the Queen. Pharmacies close early, parentheses why, question mark. I what? needed to get stuff yesterday and they're all closed. At what time? Oh wait, what day was it yesterday? Yesterday it was, was Sun Monday. Oh no, 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 it was like Sunday. Oh. Sun well, uh, Sunday is understandable. Yeah. Sunday is like, everything closes like, at four. CVS in the US is like open like till t 11 or 12. Yeah, but that's because CVS is like 
just it's like a mega store. We don't have like your version of a pharmacy. Well, you guys should have. And that. you guys love your like generalized antibiotics. We, love, we don't have as many drug those. and amphetamine based. Yeah, things. we don't. Pop you guys out. have boots. Just gonna yeah. point out. Just gonna point out. You can go to Tesco's and get like ibuprofen yeah, for Tesco's like nineteen p. Yeah, true. So our supermarkets sell a lot of like standardized, you know, yeah, cough syrup. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 not the bad kind of cough syrup. Right. Yeah. You don't um, have to have a specific shop. For and it. also our yeah. receipts are like this, whereas CVS is like. <laughs> yeah. They like, also, like ibuprofen in America is like $10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I okay. don't know. Maybe that's not right, but I remember reading so much. And I was just. Oh. No, it is. It is. Pennies. Um, London reminds me of Boston. Makes sense. We yep. talked about mm -hmm. this. So many monuments. <laughs> <laughs> we like them. You yeah. guys have statues everywhere. We're yeah, we, we, we do love our old slightly racist statues. <laughs> yeah, some of them not so good. We've been around for a lot longer, so it's yeah, like. Yeah, that makes sense. You've got to commemorate things. They, of all like the, the monuments I've seen, all the like the Winston Churchill ones, they did him so dirty in all of those. He looks so oh. awful. And have awful. You, have you, unless he looked like that I in think real he life. Looked like that. Okay, in London, well, are there still like uh, barriers around all the monuments? No, I don't think so. Because they had that for a while during the period during the of everyone Black ripping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when everyone was like knocking down monuments. Yeah. Pretty kind of rightfully so. Sorry if that's controversial. Oh no, some of them were definitely like- Like the quiet. one in Bristol. Yeah, yeah. There was one in Bristol of like a slave trader and yeah, there was a massive statue of it. Yeah. So the people of Bristol tore it down and and, pull, and knocked it into the like, harbor. I think I saw a video of that road, online yeah. or something. Further. Yeah. Um, why does your water taste bad? Not in comparison to US water, but just like why it just like tastes- it's Specifically London. London, London typically London doesn't tastes have great bad. water. Yeah. 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 It's this tastes and fine. Cocaine in it, yeah, so. yeah, it's because mm, you're, you're a bit out of London. You see, if you go like, I think different places in England have different quality there of water because it comes from different places. Yeah, some places yeah. soft and hard as well. Like, yeah, exactly. Mm. I've never understood. Yeah, no, it's I all agree. minerals, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Sheffield water comes straight from the peaks. So Yeah, you know. some places you go and it's the water's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very, okay. very nice. Last one. Cheers should be said more often in the U.S. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I was in I was in a taxi yesterday, and there was like another taxi rolled up, and he said something about his lights not being on, and the driver was like, "Cheers, cheers mate!" Yeah, and I was yeah. like, "That's so I want that in the U.S. It's so cute." I'm a you big should, fan of cheers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there's so much that we say and we don't even realize it. it's like, "Oh, that's so cute," you know? Like almost every email I write is signed off as uh, cheers, 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 cheers. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that. You whole, like, should you should do that. You should try bringing cheers back to the US. I, I'll do it, and then I'll get made fun and of. And not the not well. I mean, you go to Boston. That's the old cheers, isn't it? Oh like, yeah. yeah, maybe what? I should bring. The, <laughs> it, there was a TV series called Cheers. Yeah, um, they had the the bar was in Boston. I think they yeah, now I think so. they've now recreated the entire bar. It was like, a Ted Danson. Yeah, Ted something Danson? like that. Yeah, Ted Danson. Um, so wait, first time in England, just seen London so far? Yeah, no, and then we went to Windsor. Cause my dad's yeah, old okay. boss lived there slash friend and we went there went to you know did the touristy things so you see the, yeah. the the stonehenge yeah my dad was like we're going to england what's what do you want to do and i only said i want to see stonehenge really that's the funniest thing as well isn't it the thing is son said to me um <laughs> I asked her what she was doing and she was like, oh yeah, so I can train on Sunday. I'm free every on day Sunday. except the day I'm seeing Stonehenge. Except on Monday, I'm going to Stonehenge and then Tuesday I can come to workshop. And I was like, it's, um, like, I was like, yeah, what, it's, what you already been? Yeah, I, yeah, went, yeah. I, was, I was like, it's you went so to Stonehenge? Cool. She's like, yeah, it's like, it's not far out of London now, is it? And it's I was like, not four hours. You said it was four hours, it was two. I said it was something like four hours. I don't, to be fair, True. yeah, mm, four hours okay. there and back, so okay, that's fair. what I was thinking. But either way, you were like, yeah, it's just, just, just outside London, isn't it? And I'm like, no. It's yeah, for us, the, the concept of distance in England and America is so different. Yeah, because you, you guys are a smaller country. Because so you're like, like, oh, you know, New York's an hour away. And I'm like, yep, not going. <laughs> yeah, like Boston, three hours away. Like, that's like perfect for me. Like three hours away to Boston. Like I can come back for holiday. Like that's, that's great. I mean, yeah. I, I live a two hour, I like, I moved out to be a two hour drive from my parents' house, which I thought was quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. it's like, it's like far enough that it's like, they don't come visit you every weekend, but yeah, it's like- it's a little too much effort. But it's like close enough so that if if it goes, things are wrong, you can go back, yeah. Yeah. you know? But Stonehenge, like I'm just like so fascinated by it. So I was just like, I want to- You your, can't go in theory? it anymore. I don't know. Theory? Well, yeah, I don't know Well, I mean, I. Well, I was educated yesterday and was like, I, I thought it was like, they didn't know how it got to be there, but it, it seems like they figured it out. So oh, okay. yeah, it really time, people. you drive past all the time. Well, Sarah's parents live down that way. So, so every cool. couple of months I'll see it. That's so cool. But yeah, I, I think it was I, aliens. I'm forced to take a photo every single time. Like driving. Yeah, past, I have I'm too like, many photos on my phone now. Yeah. 
You're not allowed to go in it anymore, though. I, I you haven't been able to for it, but you can park yeah. up on the side of the road I mean, at the night. Druids still do that, don't they? Yeah, they do their weird solstice stuff. But you can sneak up. Yeah, and you can go in on the summer solstice, but I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's got like a thing around it. It's got a piece of rope about that high. Yeah. 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 But is there anyone actually policing that? Yeah, there's like one security yeah. person. People sneak in all the time and touch it and go, "Well, you've touched it." It's so sad. <laughs> yeah. What about castles? Do you like castles? I've met, I've yeah, met, castles are cool. A lot of Americans come to England and they're like, "Oh my god, like the buildings are old." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but I guess Boston. Yeah. You've seen Boston, but like, I'm supposed to study in a castle next year. I think for a trip abroad, oh. like Emerson owns a castle in the Netherlands, and like people. Oh, go that's there. gonna be so that's nice. Yeah. So I'll be in the Netherlands for a semester, I think. Nice. Mate, British castles. Top tier. I'm not too European I'm not castles. Too, top like, tier. Sh- American castles. Do you even have castles? I'm not too. I'm gonna like, add that to the list of why I hate America. <laughs> we don't have castles. <laughs> you guys don't have castles. We've got this literally like 20 minutes away. My uh, Sarah's aunt lives in the only house that overlooks it. Okay, that's sick. So that's sick. But I'm not too like wow, like castles are awesome type of person. Like they're cool. Boiling oil poured over people, arrows shooting out of little holes, sword fights, yeah. people jumping out. It's wicked. I guess. It's hey, what was that condescending? <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's wrong with that, Bloggy? Nothing's wrong with that. No. <laughs> Come on, educate me. No, there's nothing to educate. It's just like, Expand um, on I feel your like thought. that comes under the same category of like, if you enjoy which I'm not against, by the way. It's just like, if you enjoy like fantasy and stuff like that, like- to <laughs> No, I'm talking about real shit. I'm no, not talking I know, about I know. This stuff like... actually happened, Bloggy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's real. I thought you were about to accuse me of being like a royalist or something. I don't care about any no, of these. I thought that's where he was going to. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Or some like sort of slightly racist thing. I mean, I know yeah. you're not a royalist, that's the thing. I just like the idea of people just like-, like... fighting? I, I don't know. Cool Charles shit. loves violence. I used to go to that castle every single week. My granny would take me and she and used to- what do you do? Just walk around it. She oh, used to she used walk. to hold me and walk me up the walls vertically and call me the boy who walked up walls. Well, That's mean, so cute. My used to do medieval reenactment and he has a full suit of armor he made. Like part of my childhood was like how to use a sword. Yeah, see that's a bit too intense. Exactly. I like the idea of it, not the not the the, the specifics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you see the Morris dancers the other day? We actually missed them. Oh, but, uh, one of the weirdest things. There was a woman yeah. with a puppet, a, a bird, looked like Big Bird, kind of in. Um, uh, like bondage gear. Oh, okay. Dancing. You know how the Morris dancers wear all the strappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, it was like that, but it just looked like the puppet was wearing bondage gear and she was making a dance. It's terrifying. Do you know about Morris dancers? No. Oh, uh, it's so fun. Old <laughs> drunk people who co- cover themselves in bells and hit sticks together and <laughs> and dance. I've nuts. done it multiple times. Why? Actually, it's so fun. <laughs> no, I've done it at like fest. Like I went to. I've I'm gone genuinely to- in shock. I thought you had to be sixty plus. No. <laughs> Okay, I've gone to- um, Maybe Rachel's the old one. I'm looking up, I'm gonna show you a photo. I've gone to a folk festival like every year since I was like 12. Is it like a Renaissance festival type of deal? No, 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 no. It's It's like a, there's this festival that I go to, it's like a little hippie like folk festival, like deep English Dorsets like kind of thing. Um, But yeah, these people just rock up. They're always the nicest people as well. And they're they're covered in bells. Nah, I think you've got, you've got some weird Morris dancers here, but these guys, they got top hats, they're covered in ribbons, right? Yeah. Complete ribbons, bells, and then oh, they cool. they hit sticks together. But they get everyone in the crowd cool. to just they give everyone a stick, and then you with your you're with your friends, little, little. and then you just <laughs> learn little the dance. Air. It's like it's what's it called when you go into barn dances? Like a uh, Kaylee. It's like a Kaylee, but you got sticks that you can whack together, and also it's really fun just to hit your friends with them. Sorry, violence, but I'm learning about English culture. I still think it's very strange. Um, but we're gonna actually give Sen the best taste of English culture because um, we're taking her down to Brighton this my evening. Favorite, my favorite part of London, <laughs> I went yesterday with Soho. That was so cool. Yeah, Soho's really like, cool. Like the gay bars and just like Brighton, the Brighton so, is, is so the cool. gay capital of the UK. Is it really? However, yeah. I was specifically referring to the fact that we are taking her to Aiden, Aiden Knox's birthday jam. It's gonna be a quite- um, So it's gonna be an experience. Quite okay. a cult- culture shock of- It's gonna be a culture <laughs> shock. Yeah. Um, um, as far as I know now, we're obviously going to go out training, but then we're going to drag trampolines through a river, throw ourselves yeah, about, cool. rope swing. Oh, I've just remembered. What? You made the, the best comment about spitting in the wind on a, 
in Queen City. Yeah, I did. I said I knew it wasn't gonna be like Spinning in the Wind. Yeah. Dude, I've watched Spinning in the Wind like eight times. I love that. It's gonna, t t tonight, today will probably be, we'll more, be like in, that. more in that direction of yeah. just chaos, I imagine. So. Oh, it, it's gonna be intense. Yeah. Dude, did you also see the clip they posted on point A of me saying I still have the Modus box from my first Modus purchase? What, the 365 t-shirt? Yeah. I saw you, you wearing that? that. I went down your Instagram the other day and I was like, fuck, I didn't realize you got one. Yeah, and That's I have sick. the box and the yeah. poster and literally everything that came with it. I've got, it's in my I got zero, zero, zero out there in the trophy. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, I saw. Yeah. That's sick. That is very, very cool. Hmm. Amazing. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Because you guys- Oh, oh, I did. I did have one thing. Um, But again, like it's, I, I feel like it's weird for me to just insert do it. it. Just do it. Okay, okay. Oh my God. No. <laughs> no, where'd it go? Oh, questions. Okay, it's down here. Okay, this is what I just have written down. When it comes to inclusivity and action that has to do with inclusivity, um, action is valued more than intent. So even if you think you're doing something good and the outcome of that is not as good as you th thought it was. It's still better than nothing. Yeah. Well, it's still better than nothing, but like you have to think about this. I, this feels so weird because we're just like hopping back into no, like- No, no, I'm super like- no, uh, I'm Like my friend says all the time, like if someone like intended to do something nice for you, but the outcome of that wasn't that great, like that's the thing that matters more. Like the uh, outcome uh, yeah. ends up mattering more than the actual like, like feeling or like, behind the action. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, so, like, wait, when so you're saying the intent is way more important. Right? No, no, I'm saying action is more important. Uh, yeah, so like yeah. the outcome is more important. So if someone does something and they're like, oh, this is me being inclusive, like that's like their intent, right? But if the outcome is actually not inclusivity, then that doesn't really matter. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. What if it's like they were aiming for this? Yeah, and they, only and they got fell there. short. That's and like still trying, you know but I, mean? I feel they, like- They make a pit, I don't know what we're talking in relation to, but like yeah. putting on an event or something and it's right, like right, aspirations right. and then a load of shit happens and it's like- But there's, there's it, still effort being made there. I'm talking about if they had like a complete opposite effect. Like yeah. if they intended to do something good with inclusivity and that was not the outcome and it was like very much the opposite side of the spectrum. Would you think a good example of that would be competition with a female category with half the prize money of the, man, the men's? Yeah, maybe like, I don't know, like- Person so what, organizing the, the yeah. competition would be like, oh, my intention is to be more inclusive with women by giving them a spot, and then the outcome is them. Or if it's half prize money, it's I like, feel like that's like kind of Giles's example. It's like halfway there, not fully there. Yeah, but I feel like especially if it, oh, maybe Rebel Out of Motion would be an example. They're yeah. like, uh, yeah, so we've given spots to women, but then the outcome was you've given spots to two women yeah. yeah what the fuck yeah yeah Maybe and then they like, like they like sort of subtly like threw in more women there without actually addressing anything mm -hmm. um so it was all like a bit of like a, a bit of a shamble yeah. but i feel like it was like yeah they oh, they obviously had good intent when inviting those like good athletes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if you look the at the absolute like in the long run in the long the run category, like what the outcome was may not have, have been as the as women's good. category didn't even have an actual red bull trophy yeah mm. best they had female, a stupid right? what's up best female free runner yeah, yeah. and i hated that sorry it if i'm getting too but heated but like while the intent of them like obviously inviting the women in the first place the outcome of it was basically because they invited so many men was basically showing like yeah, yeah well women kind of suck so i explained that so poorly i'm so sorry no no no, no, no. I, I get what you mean now yeah, yeah no that totally makes okay. sense yeah but yes, like we still appreciate that people are making effort but just um like include, think it, think include women and think about yeah. like the long like the long lasting effect rather than in that moment this will be good because that's not always the case and My, I think I think we're probably going about to say the same thing, so go for it. I was going to say my advice would be to include women in the decision exactly, making, yeah. because if if you're yeah, trying to if you're trying to make something inclusive, obviously we appreciate that so much. But you need to talk to women and the women around you about how to do that because it's all good that you want to do it, but you there's a you right can't get and an wrong, authentic yeah. take without the there's people a right and a wrong way affected. to go about it. Yeah, and yeah. Also, you I think given the, um, the 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 it's definitely don't just ask like one woman as well. Yeah, don't do that. Exactly. Very easy yeah. You want a pool If you opinions. have a token woman that you ask like, is this okay? Like, is this fine? Um, you're gonna get one sided. You're gonna get one sided. Yeah. And also you're just, one woman doesn't represent the whole population. So like don't, exactly. if you're asking me about something, don't just ask me, ask multiple, because there's obviously the whole idea of like, chill the chill girl mm -hmm. who like doesn't like, oh i think it's fine yeah i think it's fine yeah and just because like they kind of feel like they have to so you really yeah. need to ask a few to make sure that you're like 
getting the right and it's not i'm not like insulting like oh talking down on anyone who does do that because it can be kind of intimidating to speak up sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah if you are wanting to put on an inclusive event yeah. just really include women in the process of doing that and that goes for yeah. any any decisions made about women's competition in general whether that's prize money trans inclusion mm -hmm. the skill set the difficulty mm -hmm. the men making men making a women's competition doesn't make sense to me yeah 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 For especially sure. making rules on it it's like yeah talk to women talk to the talk to the women they're competing well, also it's them. like if you are in the position where you're putting something i mean like, i don't want to say is it like competitions make tons of money or anything like this but it's like even if you're not making any money and not able to pay those people it's like you're providing people with opportunities to potentially do stuff yeah like if i said okay well most is holding a competition like rachel let's get a load of girls in and like create something it's like it's providing you yeah. and other people mm. with that experience of something that maybe you've never done before i mean you have because you put on the one recently but like it and it's like oh shit i enjoyed that maybe i want to do more of that and it's like yeah more opportunities yeah more opportunities there are no women in the red bull decision making room not right? like no. uh, not that i'm aware of yeah i wouldn't but say yeah like not in the direct seats yeah. that i think that, that i think of. there is a f there is one that i heard about but i don't think they're as involved as you know i yeah. also don't think they're very involved in the parkour community please don't quote me on that i am not 100 percent sure this is all like things that i've like heard through the grapevine so i'm not even going to base any opinion off of that because i don't even know I think as me and Sam said on the last one is like that that whole rebel scenario and moving forward there just needs to be more transparency mm -hmm. they really should I think if they just addressed it that would have been so much better but yeah. Yeah. they really just tried to swim away from it and then mingle in more women and then sort of make it a women's category but then talk over that the women's weird. category the whole time and then only show the men's podium and then not give any media time to the women and then only mm. give so Sydney a trophy that says best freedom of freerunner what's up what's up <laughs> I don't even know what WhatsApp is, something. I'm never getting sponsored by Rebel, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Would you want uh, to? Uh, if it wasn't Red Bull Greece, then yeah. Yeah. So. Wouldn't say no to the check. Well, no, if they, if they, if they went in the third transparent aspect of it and was like, yeah, like they wanted to like make some improvements, I'd be like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'd true. be open to it. So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I much prefer like grassroots. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm happy with my, my modus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with modus. Help me, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so hungry. I'm eating bananas. <laughs> I'm literally eating bananas and yogurt. Well, I had my breakfast was toast and pe 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 pepperoni. I, I mean, the pepperoni is weird. The toast is normal. Yeah, <laughs> actually, okay. Well, English food. Huh? What are you saying? Oh, what thanks. Yeah, you guys made it for me. Eat like, what's it called? Black? pudding no we don't eat that oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's scottish or some people eat that for like um you know in a in a breakfast in a wait, fire wait, okay but before before we go what's like a, a british food i have to eat um some would say greg's which is like a i would say greg's yeah i'm gonna say marmite yeah okay. jaffa cakes jaffa cakes we need to get you jaffa cakes what are jaffa cakes well, they're great what are okay jaffa cakes? so we, do, how we, do here? we have any marmite here not here but <sighs> do you have marmite here no Fuck. But there's Sorry. a Sainsbury's around the corner so Marmite, Jaffa Cakes, Greg's, I'd say a roast dinner, like a, like a British roast. How long are you in England for? I'm here till day after tomorrow, Wednesday, oh, I think. Oh fuck, you've yeah. got a lot of food to eat. Oh, fuck. Um, I should like fast now. You can get so some Jaffa can... Cakes for the car. Yeah, we'll, we'll, ba we'll bang it to Sainsbury's. Yeah, are we going to Sainsbury's after this? Mm. Yeah, I've realized that uh, when I was in America, we say a lot coming? of things really- I'm not, unfortunately. Yeah. That's so sad. Um, I would love to. Oh, you know how we say pop shop? I'm gonna go to pop shop yeah. or like, like I say, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna bang at Sainsbury's. And you're like, you're gonna bang Sainsbury's? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you guys have weird slang here. Yeah. yeah, we do. You it was uh, Jordan's comment the other day of, I'm just gonna go back. <laughs> Jordan was talking about who he was gonna oh, shoot God. for some photos. <laughs> We're all sitting here and he said it so casually, he didn't even, re he was like, all right, so I'm gonna go bang Rachel. <laughs> and we all looked at him, we were like, what? And he was like, what? And we're like, you're gonna bang. <laughs> The yeah. thing is as well, like none of us, oh my God. obviously we all say it's slang anyway, but I've never heard it used as like the slang for a shoot before. Like if yeah. you go like, oh, I'm just gonna shoot Rachel, obviously you could interpret it as like bang, but yeah. it makes sense, like photo shoot, right? It was, it was so out of context. All of us are in the room and he just blurts out. I said, yeah, I'd, okay, I'm just gonna go bang Rachel. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you know what else? Like I was watching Soul, which was great by the way. I'm so sad Keelan's not here to yeah. give him praise. But um, 
I literally could not understand like 99% of the things Robbie was saying. I, we, I debated putting subtitles on him, but I, <laughs> it's that thing of like, is it offensive because he's speaking English? I don't know. I, 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 I could fine. not. And I was so sad because yeah, I wish I- It was all kind of like happy, slightly Yeah, mumbly, I could, I could kind of get yeah. it from, you know, the way he, he was talking. He did actually say, he was like, why didn't you guys put subtitles on Did he actually say that? Yeah, did he really? Yeah. yeah, I never know whether it's. Like I spoke so properly in that interview. I was. You did. <laughs> Hello. Because I no, because I was like just, I don't know. I was so scared the whole time, <laughs> and I was like, if I say anything like wrong, people aren't gonna understand me, and then I'll be embarrassed. So. so keep it together, yeah. Keep it together, Rachel. Keep it yeah. together. Plus, I just Keenan and Max laughing behind the camera the whole time. <laughs> the struggle. All right, shall we wrap this up? Go yeah. get some Jaffa cakes. Let's wrap and it up and get some Jaffa. Let's, Let's get some scran. Let's some get you scram. down to Brighton for some. Uh, training chaos. for some actual chaos i am so sorry I'm I'm, uh, should i be scared well, what slightly are you, what are you where are you sleeping what are you sleeping in we're know. camping in what a sleeping bag we well a hammock we have a hammock i am gonna sleep on the floor you have a giant can... tent right there yeah but it's a f it's fucking huge i've got a three by three tarp we made a hammock last night or rachel made a hammock last yeah, night yeah i made a hammock and you know yeah. the first ever merch project hammock actually it's yeah got everything on it yeah. signed by the police is it <laughs> yeah is it? Is it? No. no blog you, you made one, but is, is it, does it have the Motors label on it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Just fuck it. One. Max fuck. has it. I did a Okay, first of a good Motors project here. I'm like, ha, take that, bloggy. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, Ooh. That's such That's a not really bad insult. That's not Max. <laughs> oh, did Max? No, but you helped Max make it. Yeah, I did a workshop. But he'd never sewn anyway. Doesn't yeah. matter. Okay, let's just go. Let's go yeah. get some Jaffa cakes. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank, thank you for having me. This is this. Amazing. I'm we sad that I'm not gonna get to hang out more. And that me too. Yeah, but I'm very grateful that you made the journey down. I, yeah. I do apologize for the fact that you came all the way. No, to no, no, no. Don't worry about place. it. I yeah, it's this amazing. Adventures. It's so fun. Adventurous, exactly. Mm -hmm. It is that thing in parkour. It's like you don't. I mean, it sounds like you've done some touristy stuff because I guess you came with your dad. Wait, your dad's not like sitting outside, is he? No. Just wandering around state forest, <laughs> no. like help. No, help. no, no. Um, Yeah, we should probably go because I feel like I have a package delivery coming here in the next 15 minutes. I don't want them to walk in the middle of a podcast. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Woo. But um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for listening. Thanks Thank for you. Listening. Bye. Subscribe, like, yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Love you. Stuff. Bye. Bye.